All right, so for today, imagine you are a child or an adult, it doesn't really matter, and you just got some Christmas presents for Christmas Eve. One of them is Animal Crossing. You have never played it before, or maybe you played it briefly like a demo, and you are booting up your town for the very first time. There is a good chance the very first time you ever played Animal Crossing was around Christmas time as a Christmas present. So for the challenge for today, it's not really a challenge, it's gonna be more like, well, it's kind of a challenge. I'll be playing on Christmas Eve as if this is the first time I got Animal Crossing. I'll be, uh, I'll be getting a jingle item or two, but the main focus is gonna be on building snowmen because on Christmas day, December 25th, wow. snowballs appear around town for the very first time. And then for the next two months, you can build snowmen around town. There will be snow on the ground. It will be winter in full force. And I'm going to try to collect all 12 unique snowman items. There's no guarantee you'll get a new one as you build snowmen. So it could take a while. In fact, it might not even happen, even if you build a perfect snowman every day for two months straight. But statistically, it should happen. <laughs> we'll see. But that's going to be the challenge of the day. It's going to be a casual play. I'll be building snowmen is snowmen will be the focus of the challenge challenge and I've also decided for YouTube I'm not going to even edit it at all I'm just gonna however many hours it takes one long essentially a VOD but really just the completion of this challenge I'm gonna try to get it done in one day like in real time uh, like in my real time but I'll be going you know forward one day in Animal Crossing for each snowman so I will need to be refining my snowman skills. I have not built a snowman in this game in like over a year probably by this point. So hopefully I still got it. <laughs> hopefully I get a good town. If I get a triple level town, I'm reset. But anyways, uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Cool. All right. Christmas Eve. Just got Animal Crossing. So excited to start my new town and explore this game for the very first time ever, even though I've been playing it for decades now. <laughs> but to uh, immerse ourselves in this challenge, first time ever. And this is actually... Oh my goodness, sorry about that everyone, that just... I have my computer audio max out. Funny Monkey, thank you for the sub, I appreciate that a lot. Um, but yeah, the very first time I ever played Animal Crossing, fun fact, was around this time. And it was... I'm trying to remember the exact day. I think it was a little bit before... No, a little bit after Christmas. Oh yeah, what is my name? I guess it'd be Brian. And it was at a friend's house. It was not my town, it was my friend's town, and I was just checking out his town for the first time ever. This game, checking this game out, I should say, for the first time ever. Oh yeah, where are we going? We're going to the town of Snowman. So, uh, the very first thing I ever did in this game was actually go into an igloo. And I saw the snowballs around town, but I didn't know what to do with it. So I, uh, I went into the igloo and played igloo games. That was the first thing I ever did in this game before I even had my own town. So really, this is kind of a throwback for me as well. I don't know if I'll be doing any igloo stuff in this challenge. I might pop in just for fun, but it'll be snowman related. Focused, I should say. But as soon as I really understood how amazing of a game this was, which took me a few weeks, I did not immediately go out and get my own Animal Crossing game and memory card. It actually took me until late January, early February of that same year, I guess like two months later, until I actually played my own town for the first time. Pebblepud, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that a lot. I hope you're doing well today. So... This is a throwback, because this is the very first time I ever played Animal Crossing was around this season. So, I'm excited. I'm going to have a good time. I like building snowmen. I like playing around this time of the year, because it is very nostalgic for me. And I'm looking forward to this challenge. Hopefully you all are too. But uh, it's going to be a pretty chill challenge. We'll just be building snowmen, having a good time, hanging out with chat. Sorry I haven't been interacting with chat for a moment, I've been explaining the 
challenge and sort of the history behind it. And very shortly, I will chat with you all. Um, yeah. So, I guess that's another thing I should mention. Wow, it's really dark, um, because I guess it is nighttime. I will be getting, probably, fingers crossed, I should be getting an HDMI GameCube for Christmas this year. So it's not currently Christmas for me yet. It's one week before, so that way I can get this video out by Christmas. Um, but then I will have HD footage starting next year. And I'm very excited for that. I have had HD footage in the past, but um, there were some issues, and then I couldn't have HD footage uh, safely, I should say, for the last year. And now, at long last, <laughs> I will get HD footage again here shortly. So I'm only going to be playing at nighttime for the first day, because I want to uh, do Christmas Eve festivities. But then after that, it will be during the day, so that way it's not so dark. Pebblepud with the 100 bits! Thank you! Appreciate that a lot. That is very generous. All right, let's see what kind of town we got. Perfect! Wow, it's actually a really good town if I were to be doing a speedrun of this game. <laughs> uh, when I say, oh no, we got the triple, oh, we got the double bridge. That's fine in almost every circumstance except for this particular application. <laughs> that double bridge is going to be really hard to push snowballs across. <laughs> Uh, it can be done, but it's going to be a challenge. I'm going to try to avoid pushing snowballs across that bridge as much as I can. Anyways, look how festive it is right now. It's snowing. There's Christmas lights, or I should say holiday lights. It is very cheery. I love it. Alright. So, town layout. Pretty good. Nooks and A4, Post and A2, an ideal all debt speedrun. Should I just go ahead and convert this run into an all debt speedrun? <laughs> just kidding. We got almost every villager in the upper level. We got Grizzly. Hey, that's pretty cool. Grizzly's like a, a grizzly bear, and it's winter. I like it. I like it. Grizzly is a very nice addition to this town. Nice fossil slash gyroid in the middle of the slope. And we got hate. Favorite villager is Fang. And I know we do not have Fang in this town because we have Grizzly. At least not yet. It'd be cool if Fang moved in. Hambo. I like these villagers so far. I forgot who the first one was. I wasn't paying attention. But uh, we got Grizzly, Pate, Hambo. Whoever I missed. Ah, yes, Stella. These are these are good. These are good villagers. And Bob! <laughs> Let's go! Finishing off strong. Alright, we got some really cool villagers in town. That is fun. Someone just mentioned Bob as well. How perfect. Oh yeah, and we got the Christmas trees. Or I guess the festive tree. Big festive tree is specifically what that item is called. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone's doing well today. I hope you're enjoying the late December, starting to get into the Christmas spirit. I hope if you're into that kind of thing, or whatever holiday spirit you're into, hopefully you are having a good time. I'm having a good time. And I am definitely getting into the Christmas spirit personally now. I just finished all my Christmas shopping as of last night. Sorry, Amazon delivery drivers and other delivery drivers. Um, yep, just adding a few more items to your route <laughs> to get to arrive before Christmas Eve. Uh, but I got them all. I got it all done. That was. I just had a few more things. I did some early shopping. I just had a few more things I needed not to uh, to knock out and acquire. So, hate in C2. Oh, you're not. 
You're not Pate, you're Hambo. Oh, Pate. There you are. Hey, Alice. Uh, that is... That is not a, uh, that is not a human being. There's a bot. Who I thought was having a nice message. Uh, but will now be banned. Permanently. And done. Stupid bots. <laughs> anyway, so who do we got here? We got Irwin, Pebble Putt, Funny Monkey, Pusheen. And I'm sure some others that I... Did not see in chat earlier, but hello everyone, welcome. And uh, yeah, we got a long-ish stream today. We'll see. I'm curious to see how long this is going to take. It's going to be very heavily RNG dependent, that's for sure. If, uh, if I get 12 unique snowman items in a row, well that's that. All done. Uh, but it's probably going to take about 30-ish, maybe, on average. So yes, I am getting an HDMI GameCube for Christmas. I should be. Fingers crossed. I can't be 100% sure, of course, but uh, it was on my Christmas list. Oh no, I destroyed my red tulips. Rip. It's alright, we won't see them much once the snowman building starts. So I think my plan is to simply acquire the Jingle shirt, and uh, probably it. That's probably all I'm going to get. Maybe one more Jingle item just for fun, but again, the focus is going to be on building snowmen. I have done a Jingle video in the past that explains everything you could ever want to know about Jingle. So if you're interested in learning about Jingle and everything around Christmas Eve and Christmas and even all of December. Well, I got a video on that on my YouTube channel. I guess I could link a description, or uh, I could, in the description of the video, I guess I could link that video if you're interested. Um, and then you could continue watching this one. Then you can really get into the Christmas spirit or the holiday spirit. Oh yeah, Bob, I can help you out with that. No problem. All right, good luck with that you'll figure it out. But one thing I realized while making videos is that every now and then it's nice to have a, a good edited video. And it's very important. But every now and then I also like to have just longer, unedited, just raw, you could say. Sorry, I'll never say that word again. Just long, long videos. <laughs> of no edits, just constant uh, gameplay. And it's nice to just have it on in the background. Like when I'm working, you know, at my, at my job, I like to put on long videos that I can just chill to while I work. It helps the day go by faster. So I've learned that that's important to have longer videos, and that's probably why some of my videos Animal Crossing specifically, why some of my longer ones have more views is because I think people are doing just that. So that's going to be uh, the inspiration for this YouTube video. I'm just not even going to edit it. And you know how much time that saves me as well? It's so, so much easier. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be great. It's gonna, just going to build some snowmen and not even think about anything else. Can't wait. I'm also going to be curious to see how fast I can build snowmen. Because someone asked earlier, is this a speedrun? I said kind of. It's not a speedrun in the sense I'm going to submit it to a speedrun leaderboard. But I am going to try to be efficient. I do enjoy being efficient with my daily life anyways. Doesn't matter if it's video games or work or even relaxing, I guess, in a way. I do enjoy being efficient. Uh, it's just sort of ingrained in my lifestyle. So, I'm going to try to be efficient with building snowmen. And I'll be curious to see how fast I can build them, or how, like, on average, how long it's going to take. 
We shall see. Yeah, I noticed my completed museum speedrun video was gaining traction, and I didn't understand why at first. Like, it has... I think that's my Animal Crossing speedrun video with the most views. And it's a good one. Don't get me wrong. I'm very proud of it. But I would say the speedrun record I'm most proud of is my Golden Net speedrun, just because of how insanely lucky it was. And that one has a good amount of views, but not even close to the completed museum speedrun. I think it's just because that one is longer. I think. I don't know. I've been doing YouTube for like... Jeez. Too long. Way too long. And I still don't know. I mean, it's always changing what people like watching. So, trying to stay up with that is hard. And I, be on, I'll be honest, I don't put a whole lot of effort into it. At least into figuring out how the algorithm works and whatnot. I try a little bit. But, I don't like watch other YouTube videos of breaking down the algorithm to understand the nuances of squeezing out views. Uh, so I just I just do what I like to do. All right, here we go. A special message message to you all. Happy holidays. That is a very special special message. And let's go ahead and put our original shirt back on and let's go find Jingle. And let's enjoy the music as well. Charlie, thank you for the sub. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate that, Charlie. Happy Toy Day. Toy Day was yesterday. At least in this game. December 23rd, Toy Day. You can get the miniature car if you're playing as a boy character. Or the dolly if you're playing as the girl character. Um... The only way to get both those items is to have both of those characters in your town. Alright, so I have nothing else I need to do right now except find Jingle. Where is he? Where is Jingle? Also, hey, Ryder. Uh, yeah, 100 days in Animal Crossing. I actually did have an idea where I would play like an hour every day for like a month. And, um, and see how much I can get accomplished. Or maybe like an hour every day for a given month over the course of a year so I don't have to play for 30 hours straight. That was an idea I had. I may or may not, you know, do that. No time traveling? Well, I mean, for the sake of the challenge. Oh, there's Jingle. Hello, Jingle. Happy holidays. The holidays are wonderful. So, I'm going to go for a shirt. Um, wait, hold on. Print, hold on, I got to remind myself. Printed things... Oh, you're still here, Jingle. Printed things are wallpapers. Woven things are shirts, right? It's been a while since I've done Jingle. I always mix up... I mean, I've always mixed up wallpapers and, and shirts for the text. Like, when he asks you, what's your favorite thing... Do you like woven things, or printed things, or big things, which is furniture? And I think... What's carpet? Well, whatever the other one is. I always mix up the shirt and the, uh, and the wallpaper. If I mix it up, it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna do the glitch where I push Jingle into the corner and talk to him over and over again by switching acres. Um, like, you know, repeatedly. I'm just gonna have a nice chill run around town, familiarize myself with my town layout for the snowballs, and uh, just find him five times casually. Hey, what's up, Kyle? I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying my YouTube videos, and welcome to the stream. Yes, I see that it is the first time you've caught me live. Well, this is a nice and chill stream, so hopefully you enjoy your time. Appreciate that. Alright, Jingle. Where did Jingle go? Museum Acre seems like a good spot. Nope. 
Oh, it's so slow finding Jingle casually. As much as I love playing this game casually, it is still painfully inefficient sometimes. <laughs> That's alright. That's part of the charm. Appreciate the charm. It's going to be a long day of building snowmen. So I need to get into the spirit of long grind. Oh my goodness. Jingle is in the top right corner. I should have just gone there in the first place. Any Christmas traditions I celebrate? There is one tradition that has stood the test of time, and that is decorating Christmas cookies with my mom. However, she does not live in the same state as me anymore, so she either visits, or if she, or if she doesn't visit, or I don't visit her, we'll do it via FaceTime or Zoom or whatever. Hello, Jade. Welcome. That is the only real tradition I, I have for uh, Christmas. Other than, of course, the standard open gifts. There's Jingle, the last possible acre. Hi. Things I can fold up. That seems like a shirt. I, I've already mixed this. You know, I should Google it. I don't want it. They're easy to put away so you can stack more of them. Hmm. Is that a hint for a shirt? That seems, Shirts seem foldable. You would think I would have this all memorized, but this is one of the few things in the game that I mix up. Jade, I can't see. Jade, could you please just lie down? Please, and don't step on my keyboard. She's almost ended stream several times in the past. You stepped on my keyboard. Hello, Jingle. Good, I found you quickly this time. Things that are printed or woven things. Woven must be carpet. Printed must be wallpaper. Foldable must be shirt. It's to feel the fabric. Ugh. Why? It's just so confusing. The flavor text is what confused me the most. I've made a whole video on this. And I had to... <laughs> I actually... You know what's funny? When I was making that jingle video, I actually mixed up the... Uh, uh, what the... Like, what Jingle says he'll give you and what you actually get. I actually mix it up in the editing, and I only caught it on the final edit. I'm like, oh my goodness. I mixed up what foldable versus woven or printed gives you. I've been mixing that up my whole life, and I really should have Googled it ahead of time. Or at least watched my own video <laughs> to remind myself of what Jingle gives you for each text. But I didn't. So... We'll see what happens. I mean, I can get a carpet, wallpaper, and shirt if, uh, you know, if I need to. <laughs> you know, it's not the end of the world, but I'd rather not. All I want is the jingle shirt so I can feel festive while building snowmen. All right, I just got to find jingle two more times, and if I chose the right dial, the the right options from the dialogues, then uh, I'll be good to go. Grizzly, where is he? Where's Jingle? Oh yeah, I should also clarify, snowmen are called snowmen in this game, as opposed to the family of snow people in New Leaf and snow folk in New Horizons. So, not to be confused, that is why I keep saying snowmen and not snow folk, or whatever. Just to be correct with what we're doing. Alright, foldable things or woven things? This is so confusing. Uh, foldable. A carpet. You can fold that, but you can also fold a shirt. We're, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on I'm gonna go with foldable things. Going with foldable things. I've decided. Jingle. It's interesting. Some villagers, so like some special characters instantly leave. And some of them, you have to leave the acre a certain distance before they leave. It's just depending on which programmer decided to program the special characters. It's kind of funny how that works. There's, there wasn't, like, a set of rules that were established of what, or like, how special characters should respond or behave based off of, you know, a very 
set clear criteria. It was just sort of up to the developer of that particular a special character of their uh, their behavior. And it varies for like every single one of them, ever so slightly. Yeah, Jade does watch me play. Well, she mostly just wants my attention. That's mostly what's going on here. And she can have my attention. It is acceptable. She is very cute. And it is hard to not give her attention if she is demanding it. <laughs> I would say the most unusual character programming wise, I don't know. I mean, my first reaction would be uh, Franklin. Because you get a unique harvest item until you get all 12. Franklin instantly leaves if you leave the acre. And there are if you watch my last video, there's the glitches where Franklin will stay in the same acre if you enter and exit a building after uh, after talking to Franklin. So from a programming perspective, Franklin is up there. I'm trying to think if there's anyone else who's also unusual. I guess I would say Wisp. Oh, hello, Jingle. That's number five. Let's see. If, did I get it right? Is a foldable item a shirt? Or is it a carpet? Will I mix it up after all these years? Nope, I got it. Let's go. All right, it is time to build some snowmen. Look at that festive shirt. I like it. Time for snowmen. And I will be playing during the day, so it won't be so dark from uh, the, the screen. It's actually not that dark on my screen, but it's very dark for you guys. Interesting. Again, that will all be fixed when I get my HD GameCube set up after the holidays. Yes, uh, Santa Claus in German is Weihnachtsmann. Weihnachts is Christmas. Mann is man. So Christmas man. <laughs> Good jade. And here we go. Christmas Day. We are going to play in the morning. Go with like 8. Now nah, we'll go with, go with 10 a.m. when everyone's awake. All right. Christmas morning. Hopefully you have some fond mem memories with Christmas. If not, hopefully you can start with this video slash stream. December 25th. Snowballs up officially appear around town. And let the challenge truly begin. I am excited to build some perfect snowmen. And it is snowing on Christmas Day. How nice. And we'll be picking these weeds as well. So I'll be going forward one day at a time. No more. No less. Exactly one day. And there's the first snowball. All right, we have found snowball number one. And we need to find a second one. So I, 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 as I mentioned earlier, I have not built a snowman in at least a year. I don't remember the last time I built one. It's been at least a year. So the general rule of thumb is somewhere between like 80 to 90%. The head will be 80 to 90% the, the size or height of the body and that should lead to a perfect snowman should there there is like some method to like roll the snowball up against a sign and see if it like matches the height of it uh that's that's good that's that's fine and all but after a while you just sort of get a feel for the size you should be making for a snowball um so i found the first one i'm just gonna find the second one Snowballs can appear in the same acres as Joan, which is very funny. Speaking of Joan, <laughs> that's actually really funny. I did not I did not realize Christmas this year fell on a Sunday. And it happens to be morning, so <laughs> good morning, Joan. I'm looking for snowballs. You haven't had, happened, happened to have seen one, would you? <laughs> uh, yeah, the same acres as Joan. The... Uh, 
They do not appear in the A acres, acre B3, acre F5, or the lake or the wishing well. There's the snowball. It's tricky. Okay. So we're just going to start off on hard mode for these snowballs. These snowballs are geographically very close to each other, but there is a double bridge in the way. And this could be a problem for this challenge. One that I foresaw instantly and one that is immediately presenting itself as an issue. So if I do lose a snowball, I think I, I think I can make it across this way. If I do lose a snowball into the water, what you do is you reload the map and a new snowball will appear somewhere in town. Um, so it's not the end of the world. It's not like you get one chance per day. We well, do get one chance per day as soon as you build a snowman. But before you build a snowman, you get you'll get as many snowballs as you need. So build it up so that way you can start pushing it. And uh, once you can push it, I can get it over the top of it and gently nudge it until it rolls. And we're good. Okay, cool, cool. In fact, it might be fun to build the perfect snowman on this double bridge. That would actually be really cool. I don't think I'm going to do that in, uh, like as the first thing I do <laughs> for my first snowman. But I think at some point in this challenge, I will do that because that sounds fun. Alright, so now that I've gotten the snowballs in the same acre, I do not want to push them down the slope. So let's push them over here. And this lake acre isn't too bad. It's uh, it's actually, there's a good amount of snow in this acre. So I could use this acre to uh, build snowmen, actually, pretty conveniently. Unless this happens. Can we... Thank you. <laughs> um, hello, Anya. Do I play Wild World, New Leaf, and New Horizons? No, but I do play New Horizons. However, it has been a little while since I've loaded up my town, or my island. It's been a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and build this first snowman. Put it right here. But yeah, I played New Horizons every single day for like two and a half years, basically. All right, first snowball is done. And the second one looks like it's Almost ready. Almost there. I would say... Ooh. I would say that's good. Perfect snowman? Yes! First snowman of the day is perfect. Every bit of my form so much more than simply average. True master. Thank you, snowman. I appreciate that. Let's go. Snowman number one done. And you can talk to him. And uh, has more to say. Cutest pile of snow the town's ever seen. Where's the love? No love. Okay, well, sure, whatever. There was love, but apparently you didn't feel it. So now once you've built a snowman, you can save and quit. And then a the snowman will send you a letter in the mail with a gift. It will be a snowman item. But I will just go to the next day to build another snowman. So it's been 31 minutes, I've completed chores, gotten the jingle shirt, and I've built one snowman. Good start. Yeah, the double bridge is unfortunate, but it, but I did find a method that will make it doable. So it is all good. Uh, yes, Charlie, you're correct. At the end of this challenge, I am going to make s some ridiculous snowman for fun. That is on my to-do list for sure. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. December 25th. And now we go to December 26th, the next day. All the Christmas lights will immediately go away. <laughs> and it's and it is just time to start preparing for the new year. <laughs> All done. But for us, more snowmen to be built. And I'll increment the snowman item counter once I officially acquire the item in the mail here. I got two letters in the mail. One from home, I think. Yes. Remember the year you fell out of the tree and broke your arm? I did not ever do that. That never happened. Uh, but thank you for the gift. That is a lovely pair. And the snowman. Here's something for making me such a noble snowman. Snowman bed. 
That's a good one. Fun fact, the snowman bed is a 2x2 two two item in this game. But in future games, it's a 2x1 two item, I think. I personally like the larger bed. Look how cozy that is. A king-size snowman bed. Perfect. Now I can sleep at night. Alright, let's build another one. Oh, well, let's go check out our snowman we built yesterday and see how he's doing. Hello again. Cool. Alright, so another fun fact about snowballs is once you determine where a snowball spawns in an acre, that is always where it will spawn. So I know where snowballs spawn now in two acres, and in fact it's preset for every acre. So that could be a fun addition to my uh, my town map spreadsheet, which has information on every acre, like its defaults. Uh, but I do not currently have that. But it would be a fun addition. So uh, for now, I will just find the snowballs and then memorize or remember where I end up finding them. Yep, Jade is lying down on my bed behind me, being adorable. And that's great. Good Jade. She is not being annoying, but she is being cute. And that is really all I can ask for. Matsi is doing well. He was having some uh, attitude issues, but we are now doing an attitude adjustment for him. We moved his food to a new location so that way it's more conducive of where my girlfriend and I hang out more often. So that way he feels more included. We don't roughhouse with him as much as before, which I think was leading to him being aggressive towards Jade. And uh, we, uh, I guess, uh, make an effort to give him more love and attention in passing. And it seems to be helping. Yeah, and how, yeah, and but the issues really started arising over the last month with my new job where I'm actually working in the office 80% of the time where I, therefore I'm not home and so he's he's by himself with Jade <laughs> and uh, they're you know they coexist but they I wouldn't exactly call them you know, best buds so he's probably just been lonely and frustrated that he has been not getting the same amount of love and attention as as he was previously getting so, uh, anyways, we've been doing a little bit of attitude adjustment on him. A little bit of behavioral adjustment. And now he's doing well, I would say. I would say he's happier. Nice. I squeeze that snowball through the trees. <laughs> so, you know, it'd be a fun thing to try to do. So, when you push a snowball down a slope, it really gains momentum. But what I've never done is... Push a snowball down a slope into another snowball. Will the snowball roll at the speed of light down the slope into the snowball to form a snowman? Um, I don't know where the other snowball is, but it's likely up here. I'm gonna try it. If I mess it up, whatever. It just sounds like it just sounds like such a like a pro play to pull that off. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> And this is a good slope to do it. It's not too long. So I'll be able to see the snowball roll down. But now I gotta find it. Where is it? Oh, snowball. There it is. I was right. So we are currently here. We need to get over there. Snowballs will grow in size as you push them through snow, but they will not grow in size if you push them through the uh, leaves, and they will shrink if you push them through the dirt. So you can control the snowball size through those various methods. And once it reaches a certain size, then you can start actually pushing it. 
more finely, I, sh I guess I should say. Alright, so the play here is to push the snowball down the slope straight into this snowball. However, this it's going to gain a lot of snow, so I'm going to actually make it smaller before I attempt this. This is going to be fun. I, I don't think I'm going to do this every time, but this is going to be a really, uh, a really pro play if I pull this off. So I'm going to shrink the snowball to get it a little smaller for this setup. Um, so not only do I have to push it right, I have to make sure the snowball is smaller at first because it's going to gain a lot of snow like size as it's pushed down the slope. That should... Eh, I think that's good. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. I have no idea if this is going to work. I don't know if it's going to break because it's going too fast or if it's going to like instantly build a snowman or not. We're going to find out though. Alright, here we go. Um, that's, that should be good. Can I push it like this? Yeah, I can. Steady. Easy. I want to see it. I want to see the snowman being built as it's pushed down the slope. Come on. Go! It worked! <laughs> oh my goodness! I built a perfect snowman like that. It worked! <laughs> From out of the frame. <laughs> Let's go. You know what? Actually, it would have been even better if I was out of the frame. Because then you couldn't even see the snowman. That was so satisfying. I might go for it again and run away from the snowman next time. <laughs> that was fun. So, confirm that does work. <laughs> Whoa, what if I like did that and I left the acre? Huh. Well, now I have things to test. Now I'm curious. Yeah, what would happen? Or what if I talk to someone? Or enter a building? Whoa. Whoa. How have I never thought of this before? Alright. Well, unfortunately... Oh, I guess we got Kitty in Acre C1 that could work on. What have we done? <laughs> What what have we just potentially discovered? Well now I'm now I gotta do that. Now I gotta test it. That was crazy that, that worked. Even if the snowman isn't perfect, it would still be a text box. Regardless. So you wouldn't even have to be a professional snowman builder. Anyways, that was really cool. Uh what do we get? Snowman TV, also a good one. Another one worthy of putting in the house. Look at that. How nice. In fact, it's so nice. I want to put it over here. Nice. Uh, what, what carpet do we get? Do we get anything nicer? I guess, a little bit. We got a sprinkler. Sure. It is a yellow feng shui item. Put it over there. We'll water the snowmen, keep them keep them nice and frozen. I, I don't know if that's how that works, but we're going to go with that. Drop the pair, water the pair. All right, we're good. <laughs> um, go ahead and find the next snowballs. And now I need a test. The, this this idea. There's a snowball already ready for this test. How perfect. Let's go say, say hi to our other snowman. Still a perfect snowman, just very small. So in this game, you can have three snowmen still around town, and on the fourth day, or I guess, yeah, if you consider the first day that you built the snowman day one, on the fourth day, the snowman will be gone. So they last for three days until they, I guess, melt. <laughs> and they have lots of funny dialogue to accompany them. So, we're going to go ahead and test out this crazy snowman idea 
right away. Because I can't help myself. Have I discovered something um, that's never been discovered before? Or will nothing happen at all? We're going to discover live, on stream. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to watch it live in, uh, in your mind on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but for us, this is going to be in real time right now. Newly discovered, or unknown territory, I should say. Potentially new discoveries. I'm sure this is... I don't know. I feel like this is something that has been done before. Uh, but first, of course, we gotta check out Katrina. I have no money, though. Let me go sell these things and see what kind of fortune I can get from Katrina. I am going to be having a good time with this challenge. So I'm gonna enjoy messing around there's a snowball that's just like the this looks like day one snowballs in c1 and c3 all right uh, but i do want a katrina fortune so let's go ahead and do that yeah that's what i'm guessing erwin as well ah oh, yes hra that's what i'm guessing will happen is if you talk to a villager the snowman dialogue will happen afterwards. But what happens if you enter it? The building. Nice you are here shirt. Greatest shirt in every in any Animal Crossing game, really. Right there, there it is. Greatest shirt ever. <laughs> Um, all right, let's go ahead and get the Katrina fortune. Because I want to. No other reason. Yeah, exactly, Charlie. All right. Yeah, it'd be like the mosquito and the fish. In the mailbox, a stressed-out businessman will be taking a nap. Dang. Elon Musk has really been pushing his workers. Snapping in mailboxes now? What are you gonna do? I don't even- I don't even know what my fortune was. What was it? Oh, I got a- <laughs> Animals are gonna be avoiding me. <laughs> So, uh, so there, there's fun little, uh, little, little, like, things in this game where animals will avoid you. Like, look at Pate. He's running away from me. Because I got the, uh, the unpopular fortune. I'm so unpopular right now that villagers are gonna actively run away from me so they don't have to talk to me. <laughs> but then there's also the opposite one, where you're popular. And villagers of the, of the opposite gender specifically will run up to you and say they're excited to see you. Animal Crossing is such an innocent game in some regards. <laughs> Different times, but, you know, gotta appreciate it. I enjoy it, personally. All right. Double bridge. We will be building a snowman on the double bridge. This seems like an easy thing to accomplish after rolling a snowball down a hill to build a perfect snowman. This seems like nothing now. Um, but uh, we I will be building a snowman on a double bridge at some point today, because I want to. But for now, I'm going to try to build another perfect snowman down the bridge and enter the building. I, Kitty better be here. She's in an... Where? Why? <laughs> Why, kitty? <laughs> Why? Why did you have to do that? Alright, here's what... Here's one possible way to fix this. And I probably should do this anyways. Um, I'm gonna save and continue. Kitty might return. And I should save and continue in case this, like, crashes the game or something like that. The snowballs will still be in the same spot. Kitty may return. Hmm. 
trying to think if there's anything else I could do. Or any other way I could do this. No, there's not. Kitty has to be home. Wait, who do I have? Wait! Hold on, we got a new villager. Exactly in acre C3. I I thought I saw a building over there. I didn't think I didn't think anything of it. Daisy! Good morning, Daisy. Hello, you are such a good dog. Now I just gotta push these these snowballs back over here. <laughs> that worked out just fine, because Daisy moved in the acre with the slope where I pushed the snowballs last time. Did Kitty return, though, from the save and continue? Probably not. Alright, so... <laughs> these snowballs are going on a journey. I could also just take this opportunity to build a snowman in the middle of this double bridge. Rip. And so that's honestly... It's not even the end of the world. Because <laughs> that was going to be so much effort to push that thing all the way over there. I will try to get this one over there, just to see if I can do it. Never mind. All right, we're going to find two new snowballs today, and we're going to get them in the acre with Daisy. <laughs> All right, so there should be two new snowballs in town. Hopefully I don't have to push them across the double bridge. Perfect start. It's easy to get them across this way, but this way, the other way, might not be as easy. So, first snowball, let's not push this one in the water. Honestly, like, the amount of time it would have taken me to push those snowballs across, like, here it is. Here's the snowball. It's ready. Now, I'm hoping the other snowball is down, down here. Otherwise, I'll have to, uh, do a little bit of... Oh, there's Kitty. She's in the acre with Daisy. She's coming she's coming to say hi to Daisy. Whatever. All right, let's go find the other snowball. Hopefully it's not over here. Please don't be over here. After I do this test, uh, I'm not going to do this test all day. Like, if this, unless something crazy happens, then maybe. But if I had to guess, building a perfect snowman, then entering the building before the dialogue, it will either do one of two things. Dang it, it is up here. Well, okay, I can make this work. It's going to do one of two things, I think. Or, okay, one of three. First thing, the dialogue will play as I'm entering the building. That would be interesting. Option two, the dialogue straight up doesn't play, but if it's a perfect snowman then I'll get a snowman item either way. Option three, the game crashes. <laughs> so we got this snowman in the way. I could destroy the snowman to get it out of the way. That'd be kind of mean. But at the same time, I can. I guess I can do this side. But there's a tree in the way over here. However, this side is, pro is closer, so I should do this side. Um... So, but for now, I have to be very careful of where I push this snowball. If I hit the snowman, it'll break the snowball. If I hit this tree, it'll break the snowball. So I have to I have to thread the needle, push the snowball straight down the middle of the slope to not break it. But if I do accomplish that um, perfectly, then it shouldn't, it should be good. All right, well, here goes nothing. Okay, well, sorry, well, here goes nothing. Ah! Where'd it go? We good? Oh my goodness. Forgot about Katrina's tent. We're good! <laughs> Barely. Alright. Oh. Get the snowball ready. The snowman is once again in the way. I'll have to, I'll have to build this snowball over here. Awesome. All that hard work for me to accidentally do that. <laughs> you think you're you think you're safe, and then you hold the run button down for a split second, and we're all good. The snowball's right here. Never punished. So let's try this again. Okay, 
And uh, let's not do that again. That is crazy that happened. <laughs> I almost did it again, didn't I? Alright, that should be good. That's a big snowball. <laughs> Daisy, you're in the way. Uh, Alright, that's a big snowball, but... Uh, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, I can still make it work. Alright, Kitty and Daisy are getting along. They're whistling. That's great. This is gonna be tricky, so let me figure out my game plan. I push it down, I quickly run over... Dude, am I gonna have enough time? Will I have enough time to pull this off? Kitty's acre C1, I think Kitty's house is easier to pull this off at. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. Yeah, we gotta make sure Daisy's not in the way. Daisy, I know I'm I'm glad you're having a good time, but you're interfering with Operation What the Heck is gonna happen with these snowballs. <laughs> with Operation Snowman Cancel. Snowman dialogue cancel. Unless she didn't get in the way. Oh no, the snowman the snowball has to roll down the slope. If Daisy gets in the way, it's not gonna work. So this is a big snowball. If I want this to work, you know what, Daisy? Go over here. I'm I'm happy you're happy. But you know what? You know what? I solved the unpopular fortune, but because she's whistling, um, because she's happy, she's not ignoring me. Or is she? Is she ignoring me? No, she's not. Interesting. She's a good dog. Um, all right. So I'm still gonna go for a perfect snowman, even if, like, no matter what happens, that is the goal for this challenge. Daisy, Daisy, you're pushing the snowball. Uh, can you please go back up here? Can you please go back up? Up. Why are you... Up. Up. I'm sorry, Daisy. Go... I'm sorry. You go hang out with Kitty and be happy again. I was trying to not make her sad. <laughs> she was pushing the snowball. I'm sorry, Daisy. I'm a monster. Alright. Uh, yeah. Should be good. Alright, so... Is she gonna be in the way for... No, okay. It's gonna have to be very fast. I do not like. Hold on. Try this again. Why is this so. Why is this so difficult? Uh, okay. We're good. You know what? I just got. I gotta do this. Did I get it? The game didn't crash. Where'd the snowball go? It, did it break? Maybe that's what happened. I might have put... Where did it go? It must have broke? What would it have broken on? Huh. It could have crashed in the other snowman. That's the only possibility. Alright. Um. Well, let's do this again. I'm gonna unfortunately have to destroy this snowman for the sake of science. I, I'm sorry. The deed is done. I know. I, I'm a monster. Go find this other snowball. 
I am the murderer. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> It's also possible that the snowball was in the middle of entering the other, like, entering the other snowball to make the snowman, and then it got deleted. It is possible that's what happened, but I can't be so sure. I need to eliminate all possible, um, like, all possible issues or all possible conflicts. This Katrina's tent ended up being quite unfortunately placed because that also could be in the way. So, I'm actually really happy. Well, actually, I don't really care where the snowball spawns now. Yeah, you can destroy snowmen in this game by running into them repeatedly. Now you know. There's a snowball. Alright, let's try this again. You know what? I realize this actually might be a lot easier if it's not in a pushable state. It's not going to build a perfect snowman, but this is going to be a lot easier. And I do know now that uh, it will be in a it will be large enough to build a snowman when it's when it rolls down the hill. But I do know now that the snowball, if you push it down the slope and it's small, it won't reach Katrina's tent. So this this actually might be the play. I, it's not going to be a perfect snowman, unfortunately. Well, actually, I could still try to make a perfect snowman. I just have to make the snowball smaller. It's going to be a lot harder. It can still be done. It's got to make this body a little smaller. Here's another possibility of what happened. As it was rolling down the hill and I entered the house, it um, uh, it, it was about to build a snowman, but then it, because I entered the house, it, it clipped through the snowball and hit the tree. That's a possibility. So if that's the case... I should try this on the left side. Or even the middle. Let's do the middle. It gives me a little more a little more time to reach the the uh, to reach Daisy's house. Is that actually this this might not be large enough now. So I'm gonna try the middle. Make sure no one's in the way. All right, here we go. I gotta do this right. That was perfect. Let's see what happened. I could not have done that any better. Huh. There it is. It went through the snowball. Okay, so that's what happened last time. It went through the snowball and broke on the tree. <laughs> it went through. Huh. That's what happened. Huh. It went through the snowball and broke on the tree. That's what happened last time. And yes, it does roll pretty far. It didn't break on the tent because I tested it before. It barely reaches uh, the end of its rolling before it reaches the tent. That had been tested previously. So, now, so that's what happens. I wonder if that's, now what happens if I talk to a village? Or if I leave the acre? Now that we know that's what happens if you enter a building to prevent, that, I wonder if that's coded into the game, like intentionally. That's so interesting. Now what happens if I leave the acre and I enter a new acre? In fact, this will be easier to do on the left side. Daisy, you're in the way. Are you kidding me, Daisy? <laughs> Daisy, you're a good dog. Thank you for moving into this acre, but uh, please hang out by your house for now. Thank you. We need a shovel for Daisy. <laughs> Would be a little easier. I've already made her sad. Okay, so if I'm going for a perfect snowman, I can make the snowball a little bigger. Okay, that should be good.
Ah! Okay, I entered in... That was actually perfect. Did it go through the snowball again? Yes, it did. So if you leave the acre, it also goes through the snowball. Okay. Uh, interesting. That is really weird. I've never seen that before. Next test, we'll be talking to a villager. It did get bigger, so it accounted for the fact that it rolled down the slope. Final test is going to be talking to a villager in the same acre. Yeah, rolling snowballs down slopes does make them big pretty fast, as long as there's snow for their entire path. Final test, and then we'll be moving on from this, because uh, this clearly has already been thought of <laughs> by the programmers. Um, but if someone wants to do further research into this, there may be another exploit that I uh, haven't thought of. But we'll now build a snowman, talk to a villager, and see what happens. Because that should work. Daisy, this time I I want you up here to talk to you. Daisy, you have so much energy today. Please have energy up here where I can talk to you. Oh my goodness. He does have the zoomies. Just hang up here. Hang out up here so I can talk to you, please. I know, I'm a bully. So, she she is, she is adopted Kitty's catchphrase. <laughs> okay, Snowball's in position. Daisy, I need you to be in position as well. Please, please cooperate. Please. I didn't even push you. All right, Daisy's not cooperating. cooperating. Kitty, come over here. I need, I need you. You, you... These animals cannot control them. All right, kitty, that's that's perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, she's. Uh, when I had my unpopular fortune, she's saying it's okay. It's okay now. Nasty rumor. Yeah, I was pushing Daisy around a lot. Thanks. And it went through the snowball once again. Wow. Well, now we know. All possible scenarios have been tested. Same results every time. That was fun. That was fascinating. We've we've all learned something today. And now let's build a perfect snowman. Now, oh, we haven't pet, we haven't tested every possibility. But yeah, what happens if you break an axe or if you catch a fish? I don't know if you have time to catch a fish, but maybe a bug. You know what, viewers, if you're curious, test it out for me. Let me know. Or I'll just test it later. But for now, I would like to continue this challenge. We have learned some fascinating things today, done some fun tests. Snowballs can roll through other snowballs in all of these different scenarios. Very interesting. Yeah, that's some great dialogue from being born. <laughs> yes, sweet, precious life. I am perfectly molded. <laughs> that's amazing. I do always learn something new about this game. Every stream, it seems. Literally every stream, I'm always learning something new. I love this game. This game is amazing. All right, we built, no built another perfect snowman. Let's see what we got as a reward. I got a snowman wardrobe. I'm getting some good ones. These are all good. I feel the need to put them in my house. I won't have enough space for all of them eventually. But... Or will I? How many... The Snowman series takes up... Wait, I think it takes up 16 spots, which is, which is exactly how much space I have in my house. Never mind, I think I can fit the entire Snowman series in my house. The Jingle series takes up 17. 
Snowman. Oh my goodness, we got a new villager. Oh, we got Rio. That's a rare one. That's cool. Hello, Rio. Now Kitty can hang out in her acre with a friend. Okay, so from here on out, I'm going to try to be efficient with building snowmen. We've had our fun testing various ideas. I've shown off building perfect snowmen. Oh, that's where the snowball spawns in this acre. Good to know. Um, and now, I only have one final thing I really want to, uh, like, challenge-wise that I want to accomplish, is building a perfect snowman on the double bridge. And I'll do that at some point in the stream. Other than that, I don't really have any other things, anything else I really want to test as far as building snowmen in interesting or unique locations. And that's fine, because the point of this challenge is to build a lot of them to get... Oh my goodness. I forgot, this acre sucks. Are you kidding me? I have salvaged this once before. I'm pretty sure. In this acre, the snowball spawns behind um, the lighthouse. But I think if you're really careful, you can, you can push it like this and go around and salvage this. Okay, yeah, it can be salvaged. Cool. This is one of my favorite acres. Uh, so this is not the first time this has happened. What just happened, Kyler? Also, hello. Something weird on Twitch's end. Kyler, why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it was a button. <laughs> was it a new button? It said to press it, shield mode. Twitch told you to press a button, so you pressed it. Look what happened. That's right, Kyler. I forgive you. If I was told to press a button, I would press it as well. I think you fixed it, yeah. Well, that's one way to make a, uh, a a greeting. One made one way to make a presence in the room. <laughs> Disable all chat except for moderators, and then you say hi, so that way you know I see your hello. <laughs> hello, Kyler. I I I I acknowledge your presence. Welcome. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Kyler, we did some interesting tests earlier that you just missed. I built a perfect snowman rolling the snowballs down, or one of them, down the slope. And I realized it, or I discovered it built a perfect snowman uh, when the snowball collided with the snowball at the bottom of the slope. And so then I tested what would happen if I entered a building during the rolling animation. And then I test what happens if I entered an, another acre during that animation, and then talking to a villager. And they all resulted in the same, uh, like the same thing. The snowball rolled through the other snowball and did not build a snowman. Uh, there were some casualties in the process. One snowman got murdered. Daisy got bullied a few times. I had a nasty rumor where villagers didn't want to talk to me and they ran away from me. But aside from all of that, there were some interesting test results, and sometimes that's just, just what happens with the world of science. And so now we're curious what happens if, like, you break an axe or catch a bug, and uh, and so and so on and so forth. Well, that was the smallest perfect snowman I've built today. Still perfect though. Yeah. So they lose collision during demo mode. Demolition mode? No. They will break, though. They will, in fact, break. So they don't lose all collision. They lose collision specifically with the other snowball. Because the first test, it broke against the tree. It rolled through the snowball and broke against the tree as I was entering the building. 
So I wonder if it is programmed as a catch-all to uh, not crash the game. And if there's any exploits with it. Oh, they do act that way if they float through each other in the water. That's true. So they must enter that state. Did Jeff mess with uh, pushing a snowball down a slope into another snowball? He did? Ah, what was... Uh, do you remember what his results were? I knew I wasn't the first one to think of it. I knew there was no way I was the first one to do that. It was too obvious once I did it the first time. Oh, he did it in City Folk. But I did a similar thing. Interesting. All right, snowman clock. I have learned this clock is a perfect... Oh, wait, no, never mind. The harvest clock is perfect as an alarm clock. The snowman clock is... No, my, my apologies. Snowman wardrobe. Snowman clock. We're just going to go ahead and get the house ready for all the snowman items. Because I think they all fit. And then I can go ahead and throw away this stuff. Or this stuff. The challenge this time is to collect all the snowman items specifically. Because I have fond memories of building snowmen um, as a kid. And uh, that's all I want to do. And I thought about doing both the Jingle series and the Snowman series. But I've already made a video on the details of Jingle. So... I wanted to make a video on the snowman. It does include Jingle. I briefly got the Jingle shirt, and that's it. Yeah, that is that is a, a fair point, Kyler. You were correct. Uh, I just got the Jingle shirt and called it a day. <laughs> I started on Christmas Eve with the theme of opening up your Christmas your presents on Christmas Eve, which a lot of people do, and getting Animal Crossing and loading it up briefly to get a Jingle item. And then uh, continuing your Christmas Eve festivities with family or whatnot. And then playing again on Christmas. And then every day from there on out for the rest of your life. But for me, every day from there on out until I get all the snowman items. So far so good though. Four items and four unique items. I do like that trend. Uh, but yeah. That was sort of the idea for this challenge. And, uh, but I still wanted to include Jingle, and that's how I did it. Velma has moved in, but unfortunately the snowball in this acre spawns here. So I'm going to have to test that every time now. Velma's a cool villager. Oh, is that right, uh, Pebble Pub? That's really funny. I guess that works. Gulliver! Well, we gotta have a complimentary Gulliver visit every single challenge now, apparently. Gulliver, I'm not gonna have room for your item. Un wait, unless it's an item that I can place on a table. Tiger bobblehead. But no, you know what? Compass. Compass would be the best item you can give me right now, Gulliver. Second best would be tiger bobblehead. Something I can put on a table so that I have space for it in my house. Anyways, good to see you, Gulliver. Hopefully you're staying warm. What do I get? A Moai statue. Well, Gulliver, I do like that statue, but there's not space for it in my house. I'll, I'll show it off briefly, but unfortunately, there won't be room unless I upgrade my house. I can store it in the gyroid. <laughs> it's true. So true. I have not been giving the gyroid outside my house enough love in these various streams and videos. I shall. I'll put it in my house until I don't have space for it. 
But for now, where the heck is this other snowball at? There's snowball one. There's snowball two. They're right next to each other this whole time. All right, let's let's speed up this process. It's time to get efficient. I actually like the new gyroids and New Horizons. I think they're nice. I'm, I'm always gonna like the older ones more just because they're more nostalgic for me. But I actually, I actually do like the new gyroids. They are more roundy. <laughs> but that's okay. I think they did a good job. My favorite gyroid is the uh, tall droploid. Because it is... Is it the only one? I think it's the only gyroid that doesn't have another one in its series. I think. There might be another one. I also like the quasoids. Yes, the tall droploid is special. It's the only droploid, and for some reason it's tall. <laughs> Oh, I also like the Drilloids, because it was the first Gyroid I ever got. A normal Drilloid was the first one ever. Alright, that should be good. Also, I agree, Kyler. It's, it's, uh, I was mentioning earlier, it's so interesting how each of the characters have traits or characteristics that are ever so slightly different from each other. It's like, it just depended on the programmer, and probably even depended on the day, of how each of these characters were, you know, their traits and behaviors were programmed. Harvest items, all unique, until you get them all. It's the only one. Uh, Jingle will not immediately disappear when you leave the acre. You have to leave a certain distance until Jingle disappears. While Franklin will immediately disappear. And, um... Yeah, you get snowman items in the mail as opposed to immediately receiving them. I guess because snowmen don't have arms. <laughs> or at least these ones don't. But still, like... You could just say, check your pockets, I've, I've given you a item. Oh, should I save all my snowman letters? Nah, that's a lot of effort. We're gonna get so many of them, it doesn't really matter. There, the deed is done. Don't, don't even, don't think twice about it. What do we get? Letter from home. Thank you. We got a snowman fridge! Another new one! I love this trend. Though statistically, I'm going to start getting duplicates here soon. And interestingly, I've gotten a peach and a pear from home. Put the fridge over here. Ooh, you know what? I could save my fruit. Not in the fridge. But in my wardrobe! <laughs> And uh, I'll see if... Let's see, what day is it? Friday? Uh, the pear should still be in the dump. I can go get it back and put it in the wardrobe. It was a gift, after all. That would be rude to throw it away. And I got my Malai statue, which I should put in my house as well. Computoids. Yep, those are not in this game. I actually have no idea what they look like, but they sound fun. Ah, 
Ah, gotcha, Erwin. All right, so let me go ahead and put the pair in here. And for now, the Moai statue will find its home in this house. I do like it. I do like the statue. Dang, if only there was one more space. It's a fun one. All right, moving along. We know where snowballs spawn in this acre now. I'm starting to get an idea of where all the snowballs spawn, so I can be more efficient with my routing. Snowball spawns at the top of this slope. I don't know where it spawns in the museum yet. Or, well, now I know where it spawns in the police acre. Right there. This one spawns behind Velma's house. Um, this one, I think, spawns on the right side of the Abel sister. This one, we know, spawns over here. Okay, we're good. Don't know where it spawns. Aha, now I know where it spawns over here. Alright, so, best routing would probably be this way. Across the bridge, this tree is in the way. There we are. I think it's safe to go this way. Yep. And it's safe to go this way. Cool. Oh, sputnoids. Yeah, those are in this game. Yeah, those are good ones. I already built a snowman right there. Right where I wanted to build a snowman. I have already done that two days ago. We'll build it right here. They can have they can be friends. Make it a little less weird and I'll put it to its side. <laughs> right there. That's much better. Alright. Careful now. Yeah, once you get a feel for the ratio of uh, head size to body size, it's not too bad building a perfect snowman. That should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's adorable. Look at him. Best buds. Yeah, if the snowballs end up being convenient, I could build another one there. So far, so good. Let's see if we can get six for six for new snowman items. There are 12 in total. Ten furniture, one carpet, one wallpaper. I've gotten good snowman items this whole time so far. Or when I put them side by side, that's not going to happen. Alright, December 31st. I am, this is going to be the only exception where I am going to play later. So we can do the New Year celebration. Here we go. We'll give it a five minute countdown. New Year's Countdown. Let's see what snowman item I got. 
A snowman wardrobe. First duplicate. Yay. That snowman did not uh, want to cooperate. First duplicate. Five in. Uh, but we did... We did find the first snowball. It's a good start. If we find the other snowball... Oh yeah, here's the lake. Who do we have celebrating? We got Bob, who I can't see very well. Uh, we got... <laughs> look how excited they are. We got Stella, Tate. Uh, I can get the Noisemaker, because I can put that on the snowman table. So, Tortimer is currently on the dock. We got Hambo, also excited. Hello, Tortimer. Partying for two years. Two years. Ooh, build a snowman on the dock. I don't know if you can. I can test it. There are certain spots where you can't push snowballs together. They just will not, like, be pushed together. And that could be one of them. I will build a snowman. I will try. I'll try. If I can find the other snowball. Well, I mean, I'll... They'll still be celebrating for, like, another hour after the countdown. So, regardless, uh, I will I will try. And the other... The snowball in this acre, I think I've found before. Yep. Let's see, I'll, find, I'll try to find the snowball before the New Year's celebration. Look at all those weeds. Also, I might have enough weeds in town for Wisp to spawn. I don't have a net, but we can at least say hi to Wisp if he chooses to spawn. Grizzly, you're in the wrong part of town. The celebration is not happening at the Wishing Well. I'm, I don't know what they told you, but you're on the opposite side of town where you should be. Where the celebration is happening. Alright, I know the snowball spawns right there normally in this acre. Still 1157, we're good. There's a snowball. I should have time to push it all the way up to the lake. Alright, speedrun snowman. There it is. Dang it. There. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Oh, the snowball actually shrinks in size through leaves. It doesn't just stay uh, small or stay normal size or whatever size it is. It's not even 1159 yet. We're good. I have to push this up the middle where there's a dirt path, so I have to make it a little larger. Kitty, you're you're not at the celebration. You're so close. You're being antisocial. I hear the countdown. <laughs> I'll push this over here. Oh, I don't know if I can build a snowman on the dock over here. What happens if I build a snowman during the countdown? I got 40 seconds. I don't know if that's enough time. It's not. I can hear it, though. There you go. More things to test. ready 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 happy new year yay happy new year hi Pate. okay you can all do whatever you want now thank you i'm gonna go build a snowman I will do just that. Look at all these happy villagers and the fireworks. Let's go. 
All right, I'm going to get the snowball over here, and we're going to celebrate with another, another friend who doesn't exist at this moment, but will soon. Will exist very soon. Give me a few more seconds. All right. Careful. Slowly. Yeah, Daisy probably got woken up. She she is napping <laughs> one acre below. <laughs> nice. Got the snowball across the first bridge. Second one's easy. There we are. Should I go for the world's smallest perfect snowman? I'm doing it. I did it. <laughs> I didn't think I did it first. That is perfect snowman dialogue. Very small. Snow man. <laughs> Alright. Well, we know, the, we know uh, the gender of this snowman. <laughs> Oh, look at all of us. Hate, Snowman, and Bob. We are all very happy celebrating the New Year's. I'm snow binary. <laughs> well, it's fair enough. All right. Good times. Sure. There's love all around you, Snowman. There are literally villagers whistling in your face. It, you're, this is the... the happiest time of the year you could possibly be celebrating for your existence. And you were saying you feel no love. You just... There's no pleasing these Snowmen. There's just nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Surrounded by joy and happiness and celebration as miserable as he could be. Are you happy yet? Nope. Anyways, good times! Let's go get our snowman item and uh, move on. I will talk to Bob. Sure, Bob. Any, anything else you gotta say? Happy new deer. Year, I mean. <laughs> Fun. All right, very good. Next. I guess we have one more celebration day to do, and that is New Year's Day. Then after that, the only other quote-unquote holiday, unless we make it to... Well, the other holiday I would expect to have to get through would be uh, Tortimer's Vacation. Other than that, if we somehow make it to early February, there will be Groundhog's Day. Uh, but January 1st... Yeah, it's January 1st. Uh, very good. Happy New Year Day! <laughs> Time flies so fast when you're having fun. What do we get? Ah, uh, yes, 10,000 bells from home. And a snowman table! That's a new one. 10,000 bells, thank you. Snowman table. We got our noisemaker, and that's a duplicate snowman item. Snowman table is going to take up a lot of space. We'll go right here. <laughs> but there is space for the noisemaker. I'm going to put it here, I guess. I don't know. That looks awkward. Uh, I'll put it here. Looks weird. What if I put it over the eye? Then it'll be a... I guess it depends on the angle. It, it'll either be 
an, an evil snowman. <laughs> or if I put it on the other side, uh, like like so, it'll be a uh, it'll be a, a pirate snowman. There you go. I like that one more. <laughs> there, it's like a hat. All right, that was fun. Let's go see what's going on at the Wishing Well as I look for snowballs along the way. You know what? The Snowman series is actually 18 spaces, I think. So I don't even think I can fit the whole Snowman series in my house unless I pay off my first debt. And I can actually do that right now. Then I can fit the Moai statue and the rest of the Snowman series in my house. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I've gotten 10,000 bells from home and I can sell a duplicate Snowman item. That'll be enough to pay off my house debt. First, get a gift from Tortimer. Let's see what... He gives you a random diary. There are 16 options, so 1 in 16. Not a multi-million bell sweepstakes victory. That's unfortunate. We got a red polka pad. Grizzly, I'd like to make a wish, please. Excuse me. I would like to cut in front of, of line. Yep, thank you. Appreciate that. Alright. Um, will I throw money into the wishing well? Uh, what if I just said no? <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah, sure. What do I want to be... What do I want to wish for? I don't even know what I want to wish for. I can just be thankful. Hmm. Alright, I've made my wish. We got the silver coin. Yes, Daisy. You can either throw in a gold coin or a silver coin, I think. Or maybe it's always silver. Um, I thought you could have thrown gold coins. And it's, a, uh, it's 50 bells. It actually takes 50 bells to do that. Yeah, it could be gold or silver. And every time you do that. And then now Katrina, we can get another fortune. These actually do count as Katrina fortunes. 50 bells, just like normal. Does not say any weird dialogue, she just gives you a letter. This is also the only way to get a New Year's uh, New Year's card and a fortune paper. New Year's card is from home. Only way to get the New Year card. Only way to get the fortune paper. You're in for a great year! Luck, looking better. Love, you have a fan. Wealth, avoid debt. Health, fit as a fiddle. That is what I like to hear. That is fine with me. That is a fine fortune. That's probably good luck with money or good luck with uh, furniture reward. If it's good luck with money, what you can do is you can figure that out very quickly by shaking trees and finding a bell bag. If you got good luck with money fortune, the bell bags will actually be 1,000 bells. If I find a bee, that'll just be sad. Oh my goodness. I don't have any, I don't have a net. All right. Uh, are you home? You're not home. Where, where do I go? It's not how I want to start the new year. No! <laughs> had to make it up the slope. <laughs> well, that sucks. Well, it did say luck. You know, it could be better. <laughs> I, I did not even... I didn't even get the good luck with money fortune after all that. <clears throat> Alright, let's just build the snowman and move on with our lives. Um, I'll pay off my debts later. Alright, we found the first snowball. Great. Bob is here, even though he doesn't live in this acre. Found the ball.
Let's not look at my horrible, disfigured eye. <laughs> Ignore that. Just focus on building a perfect snowman. <laughs> And, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll continue on. Do I want to build the perfect snowman at the wishing well? That sounds like so much effort, but I guess I could. I do know how to push the snowball down the slope and not have it break. I do need to make it a little smaller. I'll go ahead and have fun and push or make a perfect snowman at the wishing well. But after that, there will be no more fun except for an igloo visit. Then after that, no more fun except maybe to say hi to Tortimer when he goes on vacation. But then after that, no more fun unless I make it to Groundhog's Day, which would not be fun. Also, this is a very fast way to, uh, you know, get these snowballs larger. Next. Seems efficient to me. Efficient enough, I guess. I should build the snowman down here. There's not a lot of snow down here, though. Tortimer <laughs> just shoved a snowball in Tortimer's face. It's fun. Snowballs do not break if they're too small or big. I guess... They will break if they're too small, but that only happens... That can only happen if you push it in water. And then they're already considered broken. Or they're... They will, in that case, shrivel up. We'll put the... What happens if we put the snowman right here? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna test this. Because you can put the snowman right there. And even if it doesn't let you put the snowman here... I think... Okay, I was going to say, if you built a snowman the previous day there, or two days ago, will the snowman go away for the festival like like furniture items do? I don't know. There's so many interesting things you can test with snowmen. Uh, let's see. Alright, so they run to the... Portimer, you're in the way. They run to the left. Oh no, sometimes they run to the right. Okay. Oh my goodness. People. Uh, what have I... What, what is going on here? Alright, let's... <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't push the snowballs together yet. Okay. Alright, so that did not work. But I know you can build a snowman there on previous days. So if it doesn't let you build a snowman, the snowballs will just simply not collide with each other. That is the result that we just witnessed. It is definitely worth testing since we have an, a unique opportunity to do so. Eh, I'll just build it here. Call it good. Oh! Oh, that that doesn't even work. Interesting. I know you can build snowman in the wishing well, Acres. Alright, well, we'll build it over here. Almost ready. That's good enough. 
But there we are. You can hang out over there. Enjoy. Nice. Oh, don't look at my eye. Nice. <laughs> no failed snowmen yet. Correct. All perfect so far. All right. Uh, tomorrow there will be no fun, interesting situations. But on January 3rd, igloos come out. And once the igloos are out, I'm going to try for one igloo item. And when I my eye heals tomorrow, I will pay off my debt. I'm going to go for chowder. That'd be really cool to get chowder. So at this point, it will be a 50-50 chance I get a new snowman item. And the odds will simply decrease significantly as I get more new ones. But yes. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Tin Tevlov. How rare are snowballs? They appear on December 25th for the very first time, and there are always two around town until you build a snowman. I'm going to get a new HRA letter every single time I put something new in my house. What do we get? A snowman dresser! Let's go! All right. Five more s new snowman items to go. And I am very quickly running out of space. Unfortunately, that's the best I can do with the polka pad. Because it is not considered the polka pad is Ooh, Clue Clue Land and A5. Sorry, I got distracted. I found something interesting. I obviously need to get that, and I am going to pay off my debt today anyways. I might as well also get the shovel. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, snowman wardrobe. It sells for 8,888 bells, and 8 looks like a snowman, kind of. That is why it sells for that amount. It's a good amount. You could actually pay off your house debt in about 15, 16 hours. It would take, like... 150 snowman items. I have acquired 8 in 2 hours, but I have been messing around quite a bit. And the messing around will continue. <laughs> uh, for now. Acre A5 is the dump acre. So as long as it did not spawn in the dump, which I don't know if it can. Uh, this is likely it. Yay! Clue Clue Land. That's a fun one. And I now have a shovel. Alrighty. Uh, I need to make it over to the post office to accept my debt. I also did not find Wisp on New Year's Eve. I also did not look very hard, though. Aha! I found the snowball in this acre, so I never have to go to the lower part of this acre. Nice. An igloo! I thought they spawned on the third. Apparently they spawn on the second. I have refined my knowledge. We got Hambo. I will look for Daisy. That will be the easiest way to get igloo items. January 2nd. Fascinating. I don't know why I thought it was the third. Oh, that's a normal ball. Well, cool. Now I have acquired a little bit more knowledge. Sorry for spreading false information for so long. I always thought it was January 3rd. But it's actually January 2nd, a bonus day. My apologies. There's the other snowball. So this is a this is a very good opportunity to try to make a perfect snowman in the middle. However, the strat I'm going to go for is I'm going to try to push the snowball across this side of the double bridge, which I think can be done. 
but it's not easy. Uh, I should I should make it larger. You can ignore MP16 points. Those are for an unrelated activity um, for a different game that may or may not ever come into play again. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. You never know. You have points. You have channel points. Or you... I, you, you probably do. You want points. Well, you can... You can, uh, you can get MP16 points and uh, just have them for fun in spirit. They won't serve any purpose, but you can pretend you have them. And then uh, there you go. Look at this. If you put... Oh, oh, if you push slowly enough, this animation is doesn't really change. All right, does this work? Can you push the snowball across if you do it perfectly? Or is, there simply, or is it simply impossible? It's not going to get much more perfect than this. I bet if you if you put something in the way, like a signboard. Oh, it can be done. Or can it? Can this be saved? If it's going to be saved, I'm going to have to push it like this first. I think this can be saved. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. That wasn't good. That was good. There we go. All right, we're saved. We have... Oh. It has been saved. All right, so I think the easiest strategy to actually build a perfect snowman in the middle is to um, push it over this bridge first. Build this snowball up a little more over here and then push it back over. You have 168,250 channel points. All right, Kyler. One day I will make them useful again. Okay, the snowball's too large. That is a lot of channel points. You could... Yeah, I don't I don't even like do the gambling thing anymore. Can't even gamble them for more. Yeah, we do, Kyler, you're right. I should go ahead and develop that here in a little bit. Alright, so push the snowball across. I know that works. Wow, barely. Next. Oh, once the snowball gets too big, it starts getting a little precarious. This actually might be tougher than I thought. I might have to run around. <laughs> I might have to run all the way around for this to, uh, this to work. Yeah, I'm going to have to. But let me go ahead and get this second snowball in the middle. This is, this is tough because there's no dirt in the middle. I guess I could use the bridge to sh shrink the snowball if I need to. But even that's not ideal. Alright, that should be good. Come on. Interesting the roll the snowball rolls a little more when it's larger. Actual physics. Okay, now I need to run around. This is the only time I'm gonna build a snowman in the middle. I'm just simply having fun. I said today was gonna be a no fun day, but I changed my mind.
Sahara! I'm gonna ignore you completely. I also gotta remember to uh, actually pay off my debt. Alright, I've made it back. I have to carefully roll this snowball over here. And that should be good. I think that was I think that's a good ratio. Yes! I did it! <laughs> Let's go! Perfect snowman in the middle of the double bridge. I have pulled it off. Look at that. Can't even run around that way. Too large. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get a good picture. Nice. Awesome. Very fun. It's fun. I'm having a good time. I am having a grand old time. Alright, very good. Moving along. The only fun activity I'm going to do next... Oh, look, there's a snowman letter. That's right. As soon as you build the snowman, the letter appears in the post office. So a fun thing you can do, I remember now, is you can actually, uh, like, mail four more letters. And all the letters, that'll be five, so it'll fill up the post office. Then they'll all be sent immediately from Pete, including your snowman item letter. So if you can't wait till the next mailing uh, time, which is at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., you can simply acquire your letter quickly by forcing Pete to deliver all the letters ASAP by filling up the post office. Uh, but I am not impatient currently, so I do not need to do that. But I will pay off my house debt so I can have more space for items. Let's go! All the debts I plan on paying off in this challenge have been paid off. And look at this all debt speed run. I can just run straight over here. So fast. Ooh, I get to pick the house roof color, which I am going to pick white for the snowman. That seems very fitting. Nice. Perfect. This is a great time. Now, if I picked red, it was already red. We can already look. We can already appreciate it now. Kind of looks like the jingle shirt. Tomorrow, though, it will not. I feel like I need a split, but I, I don't. There is no splitting needed. <laughs> I am not doing an all death speed run, even though my town layout is perfect for it. So let's see, what do I need left? I need the snowman sofa. I need the carpet and wallpaper. And a chair. So actually, seven, I was correct the very first time. The Snowman series does take up 17 spaces in your house. Which is the same as the Jingle series. It's the Spooky series I think takes up 16 spaces. All right, let's see what we got. A snowman carpet! Yo! I already have eight unique snowman items. Only four to go. Oh, wait. I'm missing one more snowman item in my... Um, what I, I'm missing... Not like in my counter, but I forgot to mention one. What was it? Um, we got the dresser, wardrobe. We got those. We got the chair, sofa... Clock... Bridge, table, sofa and chair. That's, uh, what I get? I got the carpet, right? I don't have the sofa or the chair. Or the wallpaper, and there's one more. 
Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Got the dresser and the wardrobe. We got the clock and the fridge and the TV. Um, snowman. Ooh, what is it? Got the table. What is it? Lamp. Snowman lamp. I got there. Snowman lamp. Lamp, sofa, chair, wallpaper. Yes. Obviously, I know exactly where this is going. I don't feel like picking things up. Eh, now I do. This is going right here. Fridge is obviously going to go in the kitchen area. Quick little bit of decorating. Fun. Actually, like this layout a little more. TV obviously is going to go here. Which means... Or is it? Hmm. Dress in the wardrobe definitely need to go over here. No, the lamp should go over here. Dress in the wardrobe can go over here. I don't know why I get into this, but I do. Can't help it. TV goes over here. I got it figured out. Wait. No, I don't. Eh, good, good enough. TV goes there. Clue Clue Land goes next to the TV. Sofa's gonna go here. Chair will go with the table. What else do we have left? Clock and fridge. Fridge goes here. Clock goes here. Alright. Good enough for now. I would like another table instead of the snowman table to put the noisemaker and uh, red polka pad on. Maybe I'll find a table in nooks. Or the dump. Anyways. There's a snowball. I'm only going to enter the igloo if um, if I find, or if I find it. <laughs> Who do we got? We got Kitty. Nope. I will go until I find Daisy, because then it'll be easier to uh, get igloo items from a normal villager. I would like to make a video on that at some point. But what I can do is I can check to see if Daisy or Stella are home. Right, Stella? Wait, is Velma... I actually don't know Velma's uh, personality. Is Velma normal or peppy? I don't... Or snooty. I actually don't know. Off the top of my head. I guess I could go find out if I talked to her. Velma is one of the villagers that is not a default character that will spawn in your town. So, some of those villagers, I don't have their personalities memorized. Because I don't talk to them a lot. Oh, sorry, Pebble Pud. What uh, run do you think I had the best town layout? Hmm. I think my completed museum run had a pretty good layout. For all the things I needed from it. Fish, bugs, uh, crazy red, or yeah, crazy red locations. I would say that one's, that one's up there. Alright, let's go say hi to our snowman in the middle here. Still can't run around it. Well, I, I greeted it in passing. There's a snowball.
Where am I? There I am. We could build a snowman in nooks. Why not? There's lots of snow over here. Both the snowballs are near this. Oh! I forgot there's a pond. Well, that's why we don't build a snowman in the nooks. In nooks acre. <laughs> Rip. Alright, never mind. Scratch that plan. Now we gotta find the snowball again. The other snowball is somewhere over here. There it is. That's not a new snowball. That was the one from earlier. Alright, let's go find the other snowball again. Rip. Anything close? Nope. Please don't be an acre C1. Oh, that's right. The ball is in this acre. Perfect. Still don't know where it spawns in the museum acre. In that case, please don't be at the lighthouse acre. Oh my goodness, it is. See if I can quickly do this. Uh, I think I'm. I think it's. Yeah, I think I messed up. I might be able to save this. No, there's no way at this point. There's. This would take. Can it be done? Can this be saved? Actually, might. Oh my goodness, I think I just saved it. All hope was lost, and I somehow saved this snowball. For now. Wow. I was like watching someone parallel park in what seemed to be an impossible spot, and suddenly they did it. Nice. If I get a new snowman item out of it, worth. Let's build the snowman by my house. I'm pretty sure you can build it right in front of your gyroid. Let's do that. Should be good. Probably good. It's a little large For now. It's still a little large. Almost there. I can work with this. Almost there. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, look at that snowman from a different angle. Look at that. Its face looks funny when you look up at it like that. It's got a funny face. January 4th. I already have two-thirds of all the snowman items I need. This is perfect snowman number 10. Or it was. There it is right there. What do we get? We got a snowman TV. Here we are, another duplicate. It's all right. I am going to go ahead and sell it in that case. And then I'll have more money for the igloo, so I'm not too disappointed. A second TV. A radiator actually is very fitting for the house. I'll keep the shovel in case something else is buried around town. That's cool. I might as well accumulate some fun extra items. Why not? I do want a 2 by one table to put some of the other items on as well. After all, part of these challenges is vibes making cool house layouts. What do we got here? Ringside table. That's a two-by-one table, all right. I'll keep it for now. We need to trap some daisies. We do, in an igloo. She will trap herself in an igloo, where we will play games until I get the igloo items that I so want. <laughs> She isn't home. There is a decent chance that she is in an igloo. There's a snowball. Or even move it. Aha! They're right next to each other. All right, this one's nice and easy. For wisp to spawn, you have to have at least eight weeds in your town. If there aren't eight weeds, he will not spawn at all. And he spawns once a week in that case. Eight weeds ever. Like, if you want Wisp to spawn, there have to be eight weeds. Once you've talked to him, or once, uh, yeah, once you've talked to him, you can pick the weeds, but there have to be at least eight weeds in town for him to spawn at all. And that's to get, like, Wisp can spawn, you know, once a week. So as long as there are eight weeds, then uh, he'll spawn. Yeah, most wikis online, they're getting better thanks to, uh, you know, just thanks to more time and research put into this stuff. But a lot of the guides you'll find online are inaccurate for this game. There's just so much information. Even I was wrong about the igloos. I thought they spawned on the third, but they spawned on the second. You know, that looks good. Looks good to me. So, you know, when it comes to little details, a lot of the wikis are wrong. Even I'm wrong sometimes. I try not to be, but... Um, 
I am always refining my knowledge of this game. And that's just sort of how it goes. Alright, well, since Daisy appeared to not be home, she might be in an igloo. And I'm going to try to find her. Velma, or, yeah, Velma's moved in. Oh, there, there are two signs in this acre, right? No, there's only, there's only one. Velma's there. That's actually really convenient. I never have to enter that acre to look for igloos. I also love learning new stuff about this game as well. And I always am always learning new stuff. Where's this igloo at? I've searched the majority of my town. Wait, where is it? Did I not check uh, these acres? D, 4, and 5? Oh, okay. I, apparently I did not. We do have Daisy, and she's actively whistling. I'm going to save both these items. She might want to take them. Alright. Daisy, I would like to play a game. Let's. Let's play a game. Five pieces of furniture. One at a time. What do we got? First one's a dirt model. No. A white pawn. No. I want chowder, Daisy. Chowder. A G logo. That's a cool one, but I'm going to have to pass. A snowboard! I'll take it. One. Fun item. Here, what is the fifth item? Right. Hey, Valiant North. Welcome. Alright, play this a few more times. I could also look for the money rock to try to get a little more money. Sounds like a lot of effort, but we'll see. Lovely armchair. No. An Apple TV. It's a cool one, but I already have a TV. Mossy stone. Nope. A modern table. That is a good 2x1 item. Or 2x1 table, I should say. And I will replace my ringside table with the modern table. A radiator. <laughs> was the fifth item, which I just purchased by my own free will. So now what I can do is I can take the ringside table, and we can play the game where I can sell it to her for uh, for half the bells I currently have. If she chooses to play that game. But I'm not going to turn down these games. First one is a lemon table. Nope. Odd clock. Nope. Cabana tables, also a 2 by one table. Do I like that more than the modern table? Hmm. I, I think I do, yes. I've decided I'm going to play the Igloo games more than I was initially anticipating. So I'm going to find the money rock so I can get, you know, the money. So I can get a net positive outcome for money. Money rock time. Where is the money rock? Because once you have a certain threshold of money, it actually starts becoming profitable to play these games. Because you can potentially sell items for half the bells you have. And if you have like 20,000 bells, that's 10,000 bells. Might as well get this as well. And then you can start profiting off of the money that you make. Or the, the items that you sell. And the money that you currently have. 
Oh, there's a buried item there. I also could run around town and look up or find buried items. There's probably a lot of gyroids. However, you know what? I could just do that because I could sell gyroids to her. That could work. She will buy those. Iglunomics. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, I found a fossil. Oh my goodness, another fossil. Uh, I am trying to get a few fun items from the igloo for fun. Such as chowder. And maybe a uh, crab stew. And the sleigh, that'd be a fun one. This is all, I'm just having fun at this point. Just having a good time. Okay, this one... Okay, I can, I can make this work. Didn't matter. Didn't even matter. Alright, we got the money rock. We got the thousand bell golden spot. We are in business. And some of these gyroids will make fine additions to the home as well. So I might as well collect them. I'm actually going to go ahead and rebury the fossils because um, then there will not be any new ones that spawn around town. So if I'm looking for gyroids, I know those are not them. Let me find a few more gyroids, head back to the igloo. I'm not, I'm not going to spend too long looking for interesting items from the igloo. And these are also more items I can sell back and profit quite a bit, actually, potentially. A Harmonoid. I like that one. Harmonoid, Crocoid. Those are keepers so far. A Mega Buzzoid. Nah, I, I'll pass on that one. All right, having a good time. We'll keep a couple of these. Any more gyroids around? Nah. So I'm going to keep the Harmonoid, Crocoid, and that's it. All right, very good. Moving along here, let's get back to the Igloo games. Come on, Daisy, let's play a game. That chowder is making me hungry. Fish chowder. They actually... That's interesting. They actually do mention the type of chowder it is. Is there, is there an issue, Daisy? Why are we not playing a game? This is weird. Daisy, we I have bells. Okay, thank you. Alright, what are we what are we gonna get? A sleigh, I'll take it. <laughs> that was one of the items I wanted. Sleigh, snowboard, chowder, crab stew. I'll take a fireplace as well.
I mean, I can't drop items here. Thank you. I feel like I don't normally see this dialogue. I wonder if this is like morning igloo dialogue. There we go. This is the dialogue I'm looking for. Four cards. There's a one in four chance I pick one that she'll give me a lot of bells for. Ten bells. That's the worst one. But she will at least just give you something else in her turn. That's not really the worst one. The worst one is when you get between 100 bells and 1,000 bells, in my opinion. Alright, come on, Daisy, let's play a game. They don't normally take this long to play games. Daisy, you're a good dog, but we should play more games. I have had a villager steal a lot of bells from a force trade. I've also had to have, have had villagers steal rare items from a force trade as well. Yep, they'll do that. I've also decided I'm only going to do the selling game a few times. So I have a lot of bells. Yeah, they can steal literally all of your like all the bells you have on you. So they can steal up to ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Igloers will not, but just normal villagers under normal circumstances. There we go. There's a good one. Yeah, they won't steal bell bags in your inventory. How much did I say? Ninety nine thousand. Yeah, I said it right. They won't steal bell bags in your inventory, just in your wallet. Which you can have up to, you know, 99,999. How long to get mugged? <laughs> it's funny. Well, first you gotta get through the dialogue where they uh, tell you about the town and uh, set your birthday. Then after that. A reel to reel, no. Boxing barricade, no. No, I don't want a cow skull, Daisy. Where, why do you even have that? Ooh, should I risk it? Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. How long to get uh, a billion bells mugged from you? <laughs> It'll take a very long time. Longer than it takes to get a billion bells by a lot. Alright, I think I am now officially done selling items. I have enough money. So from here on out... Um, I will be dropping off extra stuff I don't want over here. Now she will only play the game where I buy stuff from her. This amount of bells should last me for the rest of this game. I should have crab stew, uh, chowder, and what else do I want? Fireplace. And if she gives me a dummy as well, that would be... Also acceptable. 
Stop trying to sell me a cow skull, Daisy. I don't want it. I'm not gonna risk the fifth item. I'm not gonna make a uh, an edited version of this video. I am simply going to just upload like basically the VOD. A longer video for the YouTubers who like to watch long videos while they're working or chilling or whatever. Because I've learned I enjoy that. That's my plan. And it's less edit. Less effort. I like less effort. Welcome, Royal Leo Knight. There will be no Polar Express song playing over it. Uh, I don't feel like getting copyrighted. <laughs> but if you wish to have the Polar Express music playing over it, you can open up a second YouTube video, or whatever, um, and play it on your own time. I already had a snowboard, that's why I turned it down. An asteroid, wow. Well, I should have enough money to get at least chowder. Come on, at least chowder. It's my favorite, one of my favorite items in the game. I don't know if it's my favorite. I think it might be. I think chowder might be my favorite item in the entire game. I don't think there's anything else that stands out. Oh, well, I know what my favorite item in the game is. It's not chowder. Uh, you should know it as well. You should know what my favorite item in the game is. Um, the post model. Yes. Of course, how could I forget my favorite item in the game? The Papa Bear is also a very good item, yes. Nice, Royal Leonite. You knew. You got it. Ooh, the cabin items are also fun. Or the snowman items, but... I am going to pass on them because I really don't want to spend too much time doing this. Oh, I don't really want a bird cage, Daisy. Well, hopefully I have enough money. It's not the grass model. Do not care for that item that much. All right, come on, Daisy. 40,000 bells. All I want is one little chowder. That is all I want. But I will take other bonus items as well. Grass model can be anything. I guess in the same way a Ditto is your favorite Pokemon, because it can be any Pokemon. Even then, though, the grass model isn't... It's not like it can transform like a Ditto. You can just put things on it. And even then, you can't put things on it in this game. Not without glitches. And even with glitches, you can only put things on it that can be put on a table. A sleigh! I already have a sleigh. Dang it. A dummy! Alright, there you go. I got my dummy. <laughs> I got one of the bonus items. Thank you, Daisy. We'll put that in the pile of wanted items. I really would love chowder. But... If I see all the bonus items first, and then get Chowder, that would also be ideal. Fireplace, Chowder, Crab Stew. That's all I really care for. Moving forward. 
So 1 in 10 chance you get an Igloo item as a, uh, an option. So 40% chance if you only go for the first 4 items. That's an Igloo item. There are 9 unique ones. Including the dummy. So... One in, so, a 1 in 90 chance that she will uh, declare a specific igloo item. And if you're going for four of them, it's like a 1 in 22 chance for every game you will get a specific igloo item you want. If you're going for all five, well, then it's 1 in... Oh, Chowder, let's go! Who cares about the math? I did it! <laughs> I got what I wanted. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. That's really all you probably heard me say. That's all I really heard myself say as well. All right. I'll play a few more games. Maybe get the crab stew. Maybe the fireplace. Those would be nice additions. But I got what I wanted. The rest of this is bonus. Been a few more minutes. Trying to get some bonus items, but I'm quite happy with what I got. Refrigerator. I already have a fridge. Grass model. There's a spiced orange favorite item. Which I will pass on. <laughs> what else we got? Sawhorse. No. A neutral corner. I'll take it. Yeah, it's 50-50. You either get it or you don't. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I'll play until I have less than 10,000 bells, so probably like seven or eight more times. Oh, I guess if I get a cool, like, a gold stereo, or a cool stereo, I might accept that as well. A snow bunny? Sure. It's a new igloo item. You know, at this point, all I'm missing now is the fireplace. Oh, I guess both of the igloo items, or the model items. I guess I'm missing both of those. I was gonna say I can go for all the igloo items, but I don't really... I don't really care to do that. A mod that turns all animals into humans. I don't think there is, but it definitely could be done. And that'd be weird. What a weird idea. But amusing. I'll give you that. Ranch couch. What else we got? Cubby Hole is actually kind of cool. I have a weird random nostalgia for Cubby Holes. And I think I figured out where it stems from. I th or originates from. I think there was an I Spy book. I loved I Spy as a kid, by the way. Like, when I say kid, I mean, like, four years old. I think there was, like, an I Spy book with Cubby Holes in it. Like, I was one of the main... Uh, like scenes, and I really like that one. That is a cool. Uh, this one, this one plays music. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure that's why I like cubby holes. <laughs> uh, a random memory from when I was four. I could be wrong though. It was only four after all. So I'm gonna keep it. Alright, I got my music player. I got my weird random assorted items that I want. Get a few... See if we get any more bonus ones. A fireplace would be my next choice. Then a crab stew would be... And after that, I'll, I'll be done with this. Ah, fine. If we're gonna... If we're gonna try to give me all the igloo items, I guess I'll take them. <laughs> I have seen some of the behind the scenes of some of the I Spy books. They're really cool. I have seen them. They, yeah, they're all real sets, hand-built. All of them. At least for the original ones. 
I really liked the uh, Rube Goldberg machine. Is that what it's called? It was a it worked like it actually was functional. That was my absolute favorite one. I thought it was so cool, so creative. I really love the original I Spies. I also like the Halloween one as well. I thought that was a really fun one also. They're all good though, of course. A globe. I'm trying to remember what my other favorite I Spy scenes were. The Rube Goldberg machine is my favorite. Uh, the Halloween... Oh no, there's a whole, like, Halloween themed book. It wasn't just one scene. I like that one a lot. I think there was a Christmas themed one as well. That I also enjoyed. I should get them out. I think I still have them buried somewhere in my closet. They're either that or at my parents' house, but I'm pretty sure I have them. Christmas wish list. Funny you should ask. I have an, a GameCube coming my way. Uh, a, one that is capable of HD. And I'm excited to get it for multiple reasons. One of the main reasons is I can have HD footage for uh, streaming and videos. Two, I can actually speedrun all debts with the optimal console for now. Well, it's not technically optimal, but Currently, it will be the console choice. That's why I've not been doing all dead speedruns, because I'll be, I would be playing on the suboptimal version. My current HD GameCube, uh, unfortunately, corrupts memory cards. Uh, uh, so that's not good. I did not get an HDMI modded one, Kyler. I decided to just go ahead and use my digital out to HDMI converter. Because from what you're telling me, it sounded too complicated. I don't want to mess with it. And since I already have a converter, it's still very good HD quality capture. Uh, so I'm just going to accept what I've got. Yeah, and they discontinued it. So it's kind of uh, unfortunate. So I'm just going to go with a new DOL001 GameCube and uh, call it good. Right now I'm playing on the Wii, which doesn't corrupt my memory card, at least not as likely to. And uh, I'm just using AVI with an HDMI converter, which doesn't convert it very well. But in a month, I will have an actual HDMI cable coming out of my GameCube into a TV that accepts HDMI. So I'm currently, the TV I'm using right now is a CRT which I honestly love, but I need to get a CRT with HDMI capabilities. That would be cool. I should have I should have added that to my list. That's right, my birthday's in three months. I'll add that to my birthday list. I just gotta remember to do that. That'd actually be really cool. I need to do that. Yo, that's pretty awesome, Kyler. Nice. Bluetooth controller with GameCube. Wow. It's like a wave bird, but but better. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Very nice, Kyler. Alright, come on, Daisy. Fireplace and chowder. And if you want, I guess, an igloo model as well complete the series. Really? No soldering? Wow. Good deal. Ninety-five bucks, that's a little steep, but absolutely worth it for for what you're getting. It is definitely a luxury GameCube item. And that's what Christmas is all about. Getting luxury goods. In my opinion. Getting things you wouldn't normally need to get yourself earlier in the year. So that's awesome, Kyler. I am 
I'm interested in that. I might look into that as well. You'll have to let me know. You'll have to report back. Let me know if there's any input lag. Even one frame, I would be interested in knowing if there was. A fireplace! Let's go! Yes! Oh, this is great! I... Oh, that's... The only other bonus item I really want now would be the crab stew. Which I'll go for. I'm having a good time. And then, uh, I guess... I'm now... I only have two more igloo items because I have a complete collection. Which I was not expecting to do in this challenge, but... It's kind of fallen in my lap so far. There's one frame of input lag due to the conversion. Alright, I'll look into it. You'll have to let me know um, if it affects your gameplay much. This has been a random run. I'm, I'm having a good time. Just having a chill winter holiday special stream slash video just chilling i mean there's goals there's you know we have an overarching goal and we're slowly working towards it having a few little detours along the way it's sort of like a road trip where you know there's like a a clear destination and there's things to do at that destination but there's other things you can do along the way and this one just happens to be like a half-day adventure, you know? Like you found, uh... I don't know, let's say you're driving from California to Florida and you stopped in St. Louis for... I think it's St. Louis. For the Arch, you know? Or something like that. Or, uh... Isn't there like the, uh... The giant play... Like the adult jungle gym or something like that? Like you just find some random fun activities to do along the way that take longer than you're expecting? And you just go with it? That's how I see this. Yeah, we're, we're just playing in an adult- Oh, alright, I guess Daisy's gonna sell me a second dummy. <laughs> guess I'm- I guess my hands are tied. Guess I gotta buy it. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is basically the adult jungle gym of the snowman challenge. Good times. That's awesome, Pebble Pud. I like that that imagery, that nostalgia, you could say, as well. Very good times, indeed. Daisy, I have enough dummies. Thank you. Coffee machine? Sure. Do I want to save the coffee machine for my house? Nah. Maybe. There's enough, you know, demand for it from chat. Maybe I'll put it in my house, but I personally have no desire to put it in my house. I don't. I don't really drink coffee. I do drink. My source of caffeine is not coffee, but it's sweet tea. That's where I get my caffeine from. That's my source of energy. Chowder? More chowder? Ooh. I'm gonna have to pass, Daisy. I don't need more. There's so many more possible items you can give me. Like a Jada Kano chair. I'm also gonna pass because I want a mossy stone. Yo, Kyler, that'd be sweet. A custom channel logo? For, like, my GameCube? Dang, that'd be really cool. 
That alone would be awesome. Ooh, or I could just get it from some guy on Etsy as well. Nice. GameCube jewels. That's cool. So many interesting and fun GameCube add-ons you can buy nowadays. I love it. Do I have a blend? I pick up the roost. Well, I don't really play games that have... Animal Crossing games that have the roost in it very much. If... I would have played, I would have gone to the roost like all the time in New Horizons if it was available, you know, day one. But I only got 50 copies to get the stamp or the Nook Mile achievement, and then I didn't really go again. I do normally get pigeon milk with my coffee, though. <laughs> of course, this is all in Animal Crossing GameCube. I would never get, I don't think that is a real thing in real life. Um, I just like it because it's funny. <laughs> I do need to add more channels to this to the Discord. I am tired of my VR uh, chat inter like being intertwined with the Animal Crossing chat. It has it has reached a point where I'm tired of that in my Discord. So I should make a separate channel. I think I will. I just need to remember to do it. A space heater? Is that cool enough to add to my house? An igloo model! That means I only have crab stew left until I have a complete igloo series collection, or igloo item collection. Dang, now I just feel like I need to go for it. Like, if I'm literally just crab stew away... Ugh. I'm almost out of money, though. But, I can always sell stuff. Is that right, Charlie? I actually didn't realize that. Um, I will let you know. Oh, so that's where the fish chowder dialogue comes from. It's when you have items to sell. There is more dialogue to be had. Can you just sell me crab stew, Daisy, and then you don't have to worry about it. Snowy tree model, that's close. I don't, I don't want an eagle pole. Classic sofa. I am literally just crabs to away from a complete igloo uh, items collection. Okay, I have a I have a plan. Drop all this off. Now I can play the game, and I can also purchase the fifth item. If I don't get crab stew for the first four. Don't need a dirt model. I don't need another iris chair. Don't need an odd clock. I don't need an orange box. And now I have to buy the fifth one. Oh, not crab stew. All right. I've got a plan. My plan now is to stop doing the igloo games for the time being. I will return when I have more money, inevitably, <laughs> um, duplicate snowman items. And I will try to conclude this challenge with getting the crab stew later. Well, I had enough money for the rest of the stream if I was just going for chowder. But now that I'm literally just crab stew away, I can't help myself. I have to go for it.
Alright. Oops. A little bit of decorating. We got a lot of fun things here. Do I even have space? <laughs> Do I actually have space for all this stuff? Alright, I'm putting the model items in the back. Specifically. Put the fireplace in the back. I'm pushing that over there. Fireplace goes back here. Where was it? It was here, right? No. Where did I put that fireplace? There we go. Fireplace goes there. We obviously put the chowder over the fireplace. That's where the crab stew will go. If I had it, turn on the igloo light. I've decided I like the, the snowy tree here instead. Alright. Um. Clock goes there. Bridge goes here. Yeah, I don't even know if I have space for all this stuff. And I suppose I can put something here. I'll put a gyro here. That seems seems reasonable. Alright, there we go. I've completely filled up the back two rows of my house. And it doesn't even feel like crammed somehow. Snow bunny. Alright, we're gonna put We're putting the dummy right here. <laughs> uh sure. Alright, uh-huh, yeah. If I'm gonna have gyroids, I feel like they both need to be right here. Beautiful. I could also just forego the gyroids completely. Or just have one. Alright, I feel like the dresser needs to go back here. You know what? Dang it. I actually like where this snowman wardrobe was. My bad. Change my mind. Alright. The bed back. Dummy's not going there. I have a better idea. Dang it. Land goes there, so it's actually playable. Snow Bunny goes there. Or I could put the Snow Bunny on the actual table. Or I could do that. 
that works. The only problem is the snow bunny, like, hangs off the edge. Whatever. There you go, that works. Or I could just not have a diary. That works as well. Alright, what do I have left? There's not really space for the cubby hole. Oh yeah, I've decided I like the cabana table more. Alright, fine. Put that there. Blue land goes here. TV goes there. Bed or uh, sofa goes here. Over here, I'll put the sleigh and the chair. Two dummies, a radiator, Moai statue, and a sleigh. <laughs> We're almost done decorating. Hey, CRQ. Welcome. Ooh, I know where the snowboard's going. It's gonna go right here. There we go, that's perfect. I like the model items in front here. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the chowder item is amazing. It is a must-have, in my opinion. Alright, this is getting cozier. I like it. We can put something here. We can put the gyro here. That's why it's one of my favorite items in the game. No, nope, that's not going there. Alright, we got... We, we just gotta find room for this dummy item. <laughs> here, we can put it awkwardly right in the middle. <laughs> there we are. Now it's a fireplace. Yeah. You know, it's safe. It's, it's fine. Vibraphone. Vibraphone doesn't play music. It is a musical instrument. Slay. <laughs> radiator. There might not be room for the radiator. Uh, we'll put the sleigh here, though. I know you're supposed to put red on the east, but too late. Nice. Fits the room so nicely. Alright, so all that's left now, sofa goes here. Chair goes here. I gotta find room for the lamp. I could put the lamp in the back. Or I could put it, like, right here. We're going with one dummy. Alright. That's good for now. Let's move on with the challenge. Wait. Genius idea alert. I have a genius idea. Sell these items. I'm gonna save the dummy just in case. Save the harmonoid. Um, save the radiator just in case. I think I can sell everything else though. Yeah. Were any of these items musical instruments? Or musical, like, uh, stereos? 
tape deck, <laughs> which I bought. No. Time to sell all this stuff. We'll go for crab stew once again. Might if yeah, I'd be happy to get crab stew like now. And then I never have to do igloos again. Just snowmen for the rest of the challenge. I've decided I like that idea a little more. If I can get away with it. That was not a lot of bells. Because <laughs> Daisy's already here, you know. Ready to play games. I've decided there's no space for the radiator. I'm just going to sell it. And I guess I could look for a few more gyroids to sell as well. No, not a fossil. Dang it. Hello, Bob. That doesn't sell for much. Alright, whatever. Good enough. I'm gonna keep the shovel in case I find cool things to dig up around town later. Ooh, the neutral corner will sell for quite a bit. Yes! Alright. Let's get that crab stew. I believe. I believe. And then there will be no other distractions for the rest of this run. I I just know it. Absolutely none. Alright, Daisy. Crab stew. Here we go. Not crab stew. Not crab stew. Still not crab stew. Hey, there you go. That plays music. Alright, fine. I'll keep that. Fine. We got, we got our bonus item. Alright, no more bonus items. Crab stew from here on out. I don't need another dummy. Hey, what's up, Crazy Hulk? A Mrs. Flamingo. Definitely don't need that. Alright, if I can help it, I'm just gonna go until I get crab stew. Come on, Daisy. Alright. Notice how I haven't seen a single painting? If I was going for a completed museum speedrun, I would be very disappointed right now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Show me the crab stew. Or, yeah, buy my Mrs. Flamingo. And, uh, sp spend a lot of money on it. So that way I have more money. That's the worst possible option. Nice. I feel like I'm going for a painting right now. I feel like I'm going for the classic painting. I'm trying to com finish completed museum speedrun. Stressed out about trying to get under 10 hours. No, it's just one of the fastest ways to get Nook items, is the igloo. Wow, I'm getting the worst, uh, like, uh, selling prices at a critical time. That's alright, we're having a chill time. It's all good. Come on, Daisy, let's play a game. Alright, that works. Pineapple bed. <laughs> One of these, I just know it. The fifth item is going to be crab stew. It's going to happen. go. 3,006 bells. I feel like risking it. I'm gonna risk it. Wow. Well, it wasn't crab stew, but I didn't. I spent less than a thousand bells on it. All right. We risked item five. Still alive. Tell the tale. Imagine if that was crab stew. That'd have been crazy. for buying another snow bunny. Yeah, I could have cooked it five times myself by now. <laughs> A space heater. 
My room is also pretty toasty right now, because of my computer. I'll take it. We're gonna go item five again. All right. Still alive. I'm really forcing this crab stew, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna feel so accomplished, though. It's gonna be worth it. There's the first painting! <laughs> A rare painting has finally been offered to me. What is this run? Good question. <laughs> well, the overarching goal is to get all the snowman items. Uh, we're taking a few little fun bonus detours along the way. I've just been taunted with coming so close to getting a complete igloo item set that I just have to go for it. And at this point, I feel like I just, I feel like I have to. I've, I've invested so much time into this one item, I like I just need to get it now. I mean, I'm staying afloat money-wise. I am profiting. So I guess this is... At least I'm not, like, gonna be out of luck. Not yet. Getting the tin bells over and over again sucks, though. But, oh well. Alright, come on, Daisy. Let's play some more games.
All right, five items. Here we go again. Another space heater. Another sleigh. Another rocket I'm going to risk the fifth item. Alright. Another weight bench is the fifth item that I bought for a bargain. Yeah, maybe they're out of crabs. <laughs> Could be. Imagine how exciting it's, it's going to be once I uh, once I finally get the crab stew. I've gotten multiple snowboards, multiple sleighs, uh, multiple chowders. I've only seen one fireplace. Hey, there we go. There's some more bells. I think I've only seen one igloo model. But I have seen multiple snow bunnies and multiple dummies. I'm I should have already gotten it by now. But I'll get it soon enough. I've gotten one. Uh, no, I've seen two snowy tree models. I I I bought one. If I can get back to like 40,000 bells um, and I don't get crab stew by the time I run out of all those bells, I'm just going to throw in the towel <laughs> at that point. I've, are, I've spent... I'm, cu Ooh. I'm coming up on an hour and a half of igloo games, which is an hour and a half longer than I was expecting. <laughs> An hour, I, I should say an hour 25 longer than I was expecting. I was expecting to be in and out of the igloo. Quick adventure, five minutes. And here I am. Where did it all go wrong? Mm-hmm. 
How did this happen? Alright, I'm not in the I'm not at the point of insanity yet. There's another painting. We got painting number two. Ooh, a gold stereo. It's a cool item for uh, playing music. I'll save it. Wow, I'll have officially sold all of my items. If I can get the grand prize, which should be over 10,000 bells, I will probably stop playing the selling item game. 100 bells, literally worst possible <laughs> amount of bells you can get from this game. It ranges from 100 to 990 for the third option. That was literally the lowest amount possible you can get. That's amazing. If you get 10 bells, you don't actually get 10 bells, you get another item instead. So 100 bells is literally the lowest amount you could sell an item for. A worthy painting? That's three paintings! <laughs> I've seen three different paintings now. I am doing a completed museum speedrun. Dang, that'd be a really good time for a completed museum speedrun. Three different paintings already. Alright, Daisy. Come on. We've had a good time. We've had a good time together. But all good things must come to an end. Let's get that crab stew and move on with our lives. You know you want to. Sell me traffic cones, I see how it is. And you taunt me with what the fifth item was. <laughs> Could have been. Alright, play more games. For me. items all of a sudden. The fact that she tells you what the fifth item is is so taunting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Thousand bells. That is the lowest amount of bells you can get from the second, uh, second option. That's crazy. I've gotten the lowest amount of bells from <laughs> the first option. Lowest amount of bells from the second. Or, I'm sorry. There, I've gotten the lowest amount of bells from the third option. Lowest amount from the second option. And I got nearly the lowest amount of bells from the first option. I got 1,565 as my big winner once. 1,500 is, 1500 is the least amount you can get if you have 3,000 bells. The big winner. I think. Actually, wait, no. You could get even less if you have, like... Huh, never thought about that. Basically, if the selling game, she'll give you, like, half the amount of bells you have in your inventory. What happens if you have zero, and you bit the big winner? Half of zero is zero. I wonder if there's, like, a minimum of 100 in that situation. So many interesting possibilities. I don't know if you can... Like, you can't play the uh, buying game if you have zero bells. The buying game you can only play if you have a minimum of 3,000 bells. But for the selling game... Can you play if you have less than 3,000 bells for the selling game? Normally you can, but in this case I wonder if you uh, are not able to. For that exact reason. I don't really feel like... Yeah, I don't really feel like testing it. I mean, I could e I could quickly test it, I guess, but... Eh. I'm not curious enough. <laughs> Maybe if I have 20,000 bells, it'll be simple enough to test, then I would. You already offered me a watermelon table. Guess I'm taking it. Nice. Big winner. Oh, you know what? I could test... Eh, I might as well. I can test this thing right now. If I have less than 2,000 bells, can I play the selling game? Yeah, you can. So what happens if you get the big winner? Is there a minimum? That was second place. 
Maybe you can't get the big winner if you have less than 3,000 bells. That's a possibility. Yeah, because if you had zero bells, and you're just like, you won zero bells! Congratulations! <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I haven't seen an igloo item in quite a while. Like any of them. Thanks for the trash bin, Daisy. Alright, come on, Daisy. Be a good dog. Crabs, too. I know it's tasty. But... Just a little... Just share a little bit. That's all I ask. I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> you could probably tell. I think I'm just getting really relaxed. Once it starts getting monotonous like this, I start getting relaxed and then I start getting tired. I wish Daisy would give me the big winner like two more times, then I can stop, uh, Stop selling things to her. It'll speed up the process a little bit. But 22,000 bells, I don't feel quite secure with that amount. An igloo model? Well, I finally got a duplicate of the igloo model. I think all that's left now is a fireplace, and all I've seen duplicates of everything. Besides crab soup, of course. Well, this turned out to be a, a very long detour. Mm. Mm. 
This was this is longer than like a, a fun road trip detour. Uh, we we got a flat tire. Yeah. Yeah, I got a flat tire. We got to go to the mechanic. <laughs> A worthy painting. I've now seen four different paintings. That's kind of crazy. Considering I don't have any feng shui in my house. So I've likely seen um, all the common and uncommon paintings. I actually, actually, that's not true. I have Clue Clue Land in my house. So, my feng shui is a little higher than uh, than zero for my... Uh, uh, so, therefore, rare items are probably a little more likely. Yeah, Daisy, I always end up sp uh, <laughs> spending longer than I should here as well. That always seems to happen, doesn't it? Can we please stop picking the tin bells? <laughs> I would love to <laughs> feel financially secured so I don't have to play the selling item game over and over. I just want to buy. Spend money. This is a very good way to complete your catalog. Though. Very true. There we go. There's a big winner. Just need two more of those now. And I'll feel financially secured. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I'm getting the true winter experience, that's for sure. The full winter experience. <laughs> I'm having to get done. Crab stew, let's go! Yes! <laughs> and we're done with the igloos. Let's go, it's over. Finally, and the last item was a dummy. How fitting. All right, we got there. Finally, crab stew, let's go. Nice. And we also got the bonus gold stereo. That did feel good. I am so glad I spent all that effort going for that crab stew. It was a fourth item as well. Wow. All right. Ah, worth it. Worth it. And let's go ahead and put it up in the house. It's going right next to the chowder. Crab stew. Served fresh. Look at that. That looks so delicious. Crab stew. Chowder. Yum. Yum. The house is coming along. All the igloo items. I have officially gotten every igloo item, including the dummy, which is not really an igloo item, but it's the only way to legitimately get it. And look at that. All that's left now are four snowman items. Snowman soap is going to go there. Snowman chair will go there. Wallpaper. And then lamp. I don't know. Figure it out. Maybe here. That was worth it. Wow. Well, so this challenge has turned into an all igloo item challenge as well as all snowman items. If I had known that, I would have had a counter for the igloo items. <laughs> uh, but that's alright. We have one in spirit. Someone could make one, I guess. And I'm going to be honest, I don't even remember if I built a snowman on this day. Or not. I guess I'd know if there's three snowmen around in town. Or if I find a snowball. I don't... Did I? Did I build a snowman? I think I did. Wait, I know how to check. One very simple method to check if I built a snowman. I know it was perfect. I know I haven't messed that up. Is there a letter in the post office? That is how I can find out. I have to... There is. All right. So I've already built a snowman for the day. Moving along. It is snowman building from here on out. Yep. No more distractions. No more detours. The flat tire has been fixed. <laughs> Back on the road to Florida. <laughs> right? Wasn't that the analogy? California to Florida? Yep. Back on the road. We got stuck in Tennessee. Hate it when that happens. <laughs>
next day. Happens to all of us. We've all been there. Four more snowman items to go. See how long this takes. Will we get a new one? Snowman bed. No, not yet. It's alright. But no need to check igloos anymore. It's just snowman building. Do I remember where all the snowballs can spawn? Uh, yeah. It's one of them now. Alright. I also kind of want to move all this stuff. Found the first snowball. Nope, that's just the ball. <laughs> that is that is a soccer ball. Or a football. It is not a snowball. It's funny they spawn in the same spots though. Gulliver? Alright. I said there's no more distractions, but... There's Gulliver. What are you gonna do? You can't just let him lie there on the beach like that. Of course I gotta wake him up and help him out. And the Krusty Barnacle. That was the name of the boat he was on. And we might get another cool Gulliver item. I can find space in my house for more Gulliver items. Yeah. I believe... Alright, what do we get? A plate armor. That doesn't fit in the house at all. Well, we'll just sell it with the rest of the other items. The first goal of item was the best one. Where alright, where is this snowball at? Where is... Oh, snowballs can't spawn in F5, right? Right. Where is the snowball? Where have I not looked? Oh. In a spot I didn't know they could exist. Found it. one way to make a snowball larger. Hey, you're in the way. Right, cool. It's like a good spot to me. Where did I put that other snowball at? There it is. Ooh, I almost broke it. I almost messed that one up. I didn't. Yep, tis the season to build snowmen. That looks good.
I love this snowman in front of the gyroid. I could build an army of snowmen right there in front of the gyroid. Maybe I should. Four hours. Happy four hours, everyone. We have 11 snowman items. Almost 12. But we have every igloo item, which I didn't have a counter for. Because uh, I didn't expect to do that. So that's pretty cool. What do we get? Uh, an igloo wall. Let's go. It's a new one. Yes. That is excellent. Three to go. Look at that. The house is really coming together, isn't it? Cool. Hello, Jade. Jade. You know what? I have an idea. Gold stereo. Goes here. Jade, I, I can't see. Thank you. Right in front of the fireplace. Seems safe to me. This Look at this cozy house. Wow. So cozy. HRA is going to love it. Jade, I can't, I can't see anything. She's like, yes, that's the point. <laughs> you give me your undivided attention, and uh, and that's that's it. Alright, another Katrina fortune. I said no more distractions, but it seems like every day there's another distraction. On the bench, a stale, worn-out bowl of soup will be writing letters. Wow. Ooh, I got the good money- good luck with money fortune! So, fun fact about the good luck with money fortune. Um, bell bags from trees, if I can find one, will be a thousand bells. Probably gonna find bees again if I do this. Well, I'm going for it. I'm committed. It won't take that long. And the golden spot is guaranteed to be 30,000 bells. And the money rock, all the bell bag increments have increased by one. So your final reward, instead of getting 10,000 bells for the seventh and eighth hit on the money rock, will instead be 30,000 bells. Golden Spot is guaranteed to be the max of 30,000 bells. No matter what you would have normally gotten. And of course I can't find a single bell bag in a tree. To show this off briefly. Classic. Trying to show off something cool. Oh, look, there's the igloo. Where Katrina was the first time. There we go. Thousand bells! Pretty neat. You're gonna own every GameCube Animal Crossing version in a few days. That is actually a really cool accomplishment that I've never thought about going for. Very nice. All 
Are you going to play every single one of them? If your max... Yes, if you have max feng shui, Katrina's fortune will actually um, increase your feng shui even more. Katrina's fortune maxes it at 50, and I'm... Um, yeah, at 50, and then if you have max feng shui, you're at 40. So Katrina's fortune is absolute max. It caps at 50. It doesn't add like 50 on top of what you your feng shui was. So it will be exactly 50. And uh, but that's max. You're always gonna get 30,000 bells from golden spots. Villagers will also give you a lot of bells from if they give you bells as a reward for completing quests. And, um, you know, bell bags from trees. That's the only way to get a thousand bells from trees. And there's a golden spot. I can show off 30,000 bells. Look at all this money I could have had for igloo games if I just gotten this fortune the first time. 30,000 bells. That's a lot of money. Suddenly I'm rich. But I've only found one snowball. So, really... I have a lot more I need to accomplish today. Where is this other snowball? Really? There's the ball. Yep, another fun little mechanic. Oh, is it in that weird spot that it was at in yesterday? Could be. Nope. Where is it? Where have I not looked? I checked the lighthouse, right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think it can spawn an F5. I'm starting to get hungry. I should have a snack. Otherwise, I'm going to get even hungrier. I've probably run by it several times, but I can't see because Jade is blocking half the TV screen. It's possible it's beyond the museum. It is not. Possible it's behind Velma's house, but I'm pretty sure I already checked. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's that's the first one. Wait, can it spawn in the A acres? Maybe it can. Balls can spawn in the A acres. For some reason, I was thinking it can't. Well, it's not there. This is so weird. Let me know if you see it, because I really can only see half of my screen. <laughs> be in this acre this is this is weird i'm this is the hardest uh time i've had finding a snowball
Yep. It was this acre. I didn't even think about checking this one. Alrighty. Wow. That took a while. Sorry about that. Now we know to check that spot. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the easiest path. Well, this is probably gonna be the longest time I spend on a on building one snowman. What do you think, guys? Should I also do complete the jingle series as well? I mean, at this point, <laughs> this point, I've I've gotten all the igloo items. I'll get all the snowman items. I mean, makes sense to me. That looks good enough. We'll see how long it takes to get all the snowman items. If my luck with snowman items continues. Maybe I will do the jingle items. It'll depend on how long this takes. Now, fun fact about the jingle items. Oh, I wouldn't say it's fun. Oh, you know what? It's a Saturday. I need to get a KK Slider song. I said no more distractions, but um, this one's worth it. I'll let KK pick. I don't feel like thinking which song I should request. We gotta get a song for the gold stereo. Uh, first, what snowman item did we get? We got a snowman wardrobe. Already have it. Okay, K slider. KK blues. All right. That works. Actually, I like this one. There's no snowman stereo. Nope. This would have been a perfect time for a snack, but I was too hungry to think about that. I actually think the song was going to fit perfectly in the house. Good choice, KK. 
Oh, not me now. Oh, not me, que me, not me, not me, oh, me now. Que, que me, me, que me, 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 oh, me, oh, oh. Nice solo. Well. Later, Sierra Cube. Now, me, now, me, oh, now, me, now, me, oh, que, que, me, oh, me, oh. Na, oh, me, na, oh, oh, me, oh, now, now, me, oh, me, oh. Now, me, na, me, now, now, me, na, me, que, que, que. All right, that was a nice one. You know, I think the the only like the best thing I could do is upgrade my house. <laughs> it's getting a little cramped in here. But I'm not that's that's a lot of effort. Is there anything else that I want to put in my house or am I good to sell it all? You know what? The gold stereo is nice, but that was in my last challenge. Let's do the phonograph. Yeah, can I put this thing on a table? I don't think I can. If it is, it's the largest thing you can put on a table. It is! You can put- that's right, you can. Alright, cool, cool. We're good now. We have plenty of space. This thing is going away. Phonograph. KK Blues. There we are. Suddenly, space. That is a fun fact. That's like one of the largest things you can put on a table. Alright, it, it feels a lot better in here already. Where should we put our friend? I guess we can put him here. The only problem is I can't really hear KK Blues very loudly. Hmm. Let's see if I can put the snow bunny over here. Gotta get the feng shui right. I like that. The fireplace is also one of the largest table items. Um, and uh, putting the phonograph on top of it will make it the largest table plus the largest tabled item. That sounds fun. We can put the crab suit on the table. Look how tall it is. Now you can hear it. It almost makes more sense to put the crab stew on the table. But so then it would make sense to put the chowder on the table. That's fine.
Alright, anything else, or am I good to sell the rest of this stuff? I'm good to sell the rest of it. Alright, let's do that, and uh, continue the challenge. I'm very happy with the layout of my house so far. It's very chill. Rest in peace, two dummies. Oh, wait. Hold on. I almost, I almost sold a dummy. There we are. That would have been sad. Oh! There's an axe over there. Ah, uh, I gotta test it. I can't help myself. What happens if you break an axe... while rolling a snowball to make a snowman. It's gotta be tested. It's gotta be done. It'll probably- I mean, it's probably gonna just roll the snowball through this- the other snowball, just like before. Probably. If it does, then I think we can conclude almost every interaction will uh, cause that to happen. Yeah, uh, I will save before, just in case. There we are. So, the bed will go here. The chair can go here. Maybe. Nah, the chair should go here. That means our friend here probably go here. Eh. I like our friend here, actually. Okay, all right, all right. Enough messing around. Here we go. <clears throat> yes, that is true. All of the, uh, all of the tools have, not all of them, but all of the tools that you can acquire from Nooks, and the golden versions of them, they can all be dropped in your house and have unique models, 3D models. <clears throat> yep. But if you have any of the beta items, then they will not. You can drop a shovel and an axe in your house, and it'll have the model. It is possible. I can show it off right now. <clears throat> Unless you mean a 3D model where it, like, stands up. Like, I consider that a model. But if you mean a, uh, like a, like a furniture kind of model. Uh, yes, that is true. You cannot, uh, I don't... I don't think they have that. But you can drop your tools inside. A 3D, like, model that you cannot... Yeah, you meant the 3D model? The one where, uh... Yeah, you cannot have that in normal gameplay. Yep. Uh, but that is very... Yeah, very... I don't know why, but that'd be very cool. Maybe they thought it looked weird. But yes, that is a very fun fact. Thank you for sharing. Hmm. Snowball number two. 
square. Velma, what are you doing over there? Where's snowball number two? Hmm. I should establish a route that I take every time. So that way I don't get lost or forget which acres I have visited or not. Is this the snowball that I already found? I already forgot. Good luck working. Sounds like a grand time. All right, so here's one snowball. We're gonna just put it... No, don't get it stuck in the house. Okay, I saved that. Wow, that was that was way too close. If it got stuck in there, you can't get it out. You just have to break it and find it again. Snowball one. Where was snowball two? I already forgot. Or was that snowball one? Oh, there they are. Found him. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, we've learned a new strat. Very cool strat. Roll the snowball down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test out the axe thing. So we'll do a save and continue. Hey, Lexi. Welcome. So first I need to get my axe down uh, where it's almost broken. Easiest way to do that is hit it against a rock a bunch. You'll hear a noise every time. I forget exactly how many hits, but let me let me listen. Oh, also I can be efficient with this. Alright, so six until it makes that chip noise. Also, thank you, Lexi. I appreciate that. Then nine. Whoops. All right, so wait, how many hits did that take? Six, nine, nine has is twenty five hits. I remember that for well, here, here's what I'll do. Oh, I have to save and quit to get it back. I'll do it later. I'll get another axe and try, try it later. I'll just build a snowman for now. I think it's 25 per axe. Pretty sure. That seems good.
We'll try during the day. What am I doing? I am trying to get all the snowman items. And I'm also messing around as well. <laughs> Having a good time playing Animal Crossing. It's nice and chill. That is all. Alright, back to morning. We got a snowman lamp! Whoa! I only have two left. That's crazy. Okay. Just the sofa and the chair now. Where's this lamp gonna go? So, um... Okay, okay, I know where it's going. I have a, I have a plan. I have a vision. The lamp will go all the way in the corner, I've decided. Then the Moai statue. Then... Um, our friend here is going to go here. Now the fridge... And the clock. And the sleigh. Or we'll put the clock here and then our friend. Let's see which one looks better. Which one feels less cramped? Hmm. Change my mind. I like the Moai statue in the corner. Then the lamp, maybe? Yeah, I like that a little more. Cool. Alright, moving along. Good enough for now. Two snowman items to go. Wow. That's kind of crazy, actually. Of course, you know, it's a it's now a one in six chance I'll get a new one next time. But it's still, you know, every new item from here on out, that much closer to f completing this challenge. Kind of crazy. Could just be two more snowmen and that's it. Two more snowmen. Could be. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see if there's an axe in Nooks. And if not, I'll just buy one from the catalog. And then I'll have one for tomorrow. Aha, there is an axe. Alright, perfect. So now I know, 24 hits, and then one more, and then it'll break. So a total of 25. Let's see if I do that right. I should hear the clink after the first six. Yes, now nine until the next clink. Correct, and now eight, and then I'll then it'll break after the last hit.
Okay, it is now one hit away from breaking. And we will test the snowball. Oh, there's one. It's ready. <laughs> Snowball's like, alright, I'm ready. <laughs> ready to test. Where's the other one? So we will test what happens if you roll a snowball into another snowball and then break your axe before the snowballs collide. What is the result? My theory is the snowballs will not collide and they will roll through each other. Just like all the other tests of this interesting situation. Hello, Joan. There's the other snowball. They are actually perfectly positioned. Nice golden spot. Sneaky golden spot. All right, snowball is in position. Uh, there's nothing to hit my axe on over here, so let me actually move it to the right. Oh, but then it's gonna break the snowball. I'll put it in the middle. Let me save and continue in case it crashes the game for some reason, which I doubt it will. But you never know. Save and continue. Snowballs will not move. And this should be the final test. I guess I could also try catching a bug. But I feel like if this doesn't do anything, the same result will happen with catching a bug as it would with this. We're gonna find out. Will something different happen? Or will nothing different happen? Let me get my axe ready. So after I roll the snowball, it's gonna be this tree that I run towards to hit. So there's the snowball. I think this is gonna make a perfect snowman if it works. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's almost 11 a.m. What? Did my axe recover? Wait a second. Where'd the snowball- did the snowball break? Nothing went according to plan. <laughs> tree's going away. Yeah. Oh, it goes six. Go left. Did you see it? That's the old snowman, yeah. I don't know what just happened. Um. Huh. I could reset. I'm I think what happened is the snowball... The snowball... I, I must not have aimed it right, and it must have hit this tree. I'm gonna re... I'm gonna reset. I don't care. It's fine. I'll get my axe back. I can chop down that tree, and the snowballs will be... Wait, will the snowballs still be there? No, there's no way. I'll have to find the snowballs again, won't I?
And I gotta deal with Rossetti, that's fine. Hello, Rossetti. It must go 6, 9, 12 for the axe? I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I know, Rossetti. I did a bad thing. I reset. How dare I? But I'm testing things for science. I guess it didn't really make sense to reset, but whatever. Yeah, snowballs are in new spots. But I should be able to chop on this tree now, which has been causing issues. Okay, now my axe is down to one hit left. It goes 6912 for the axe, not 699. Alright, let's try this again. This time I can actually push the snowballs on the right side of each other. And now there's no risk for them breaking. There's no tree in the way. I just gotta find the snowballs. All that reset did, really, was <laughs> make it so I didn't have to buy another axe. That is really all that accomplished. Where on earth are these snowballs? I still don't know where one spawns in the museum. Acre. Acre, that is. The museum acre. Huh. I am so confused. Where are they? Unless they're all over here. Okay, yeah, there's there they are. Yeah, there they are. Fun fact, you can push them together like this until they're both large enough to be rolled around. That's why Nintendo implemented autosave features in other Animal Crossing games. To discourage resetting. But then a bunch of glitches were discovered with it. Like duplicating items. So it came with its drawbacks. Goldie. <laughs> that was cute, Goldie. Alright, let's get this ready. Whoa. Huh. How did it end up there? Alright, we'll just ignore that. I have a new theory. I have a new theory. The snowballs will not connect unless they're within uh, your view. Even in the same acre. So if that's the case, I'll need to hit my axe against this wall, which I think works. Or this tree. I could run from here over to this tree. I think that would be in view.
Because I was barely in view the first time I did this. Earlier on. I was barely in view with the snow with the snowman. I wonder if that's actually what's going on. And if that's the case, this ex the exploits may still be on, just under very specific circumstances. Like, very specific circumstances. <laughs> so specific, I don't know if they exist. This one with the axe should work, though. All right, let's see if I can make a perfect snowman with with, uh, with this roll. Why is my axe not breaking? <laughs> and why did the snowman not get built? And where did the snowball go? There it is. Okay. So that obviously did not work. My axe keeps coming back to life. I literally chopped down a tree. <laughs> When it was one away from being broken. So you do have to be in the frame. You have to be visible to the snowman for it, for them to not phase. Uh, like, f yeah, for them for this to work. For them to not phase through each other. Yes, I need to push Goldie next to the incline and chat again. Yes, you're right. All right, Goldie. And I got the shovel to force her to stay in one spot. Goldie over here. Oh, where should I force her to stay at? Okay. I have a plan. Goldie over here. Goldie right here. Perfect. Goldie, why, are you, why did you run so far away? Oh, it could check if the ball is rolling and not break the axe. That would be crazy if that was true. Alright, let's try this again. With our newfound knowledge... Probably. Hopefully the snowball doesn't get stuck in this hole. That's not going to make a perfect snowman. Who do we have in this acre as well? Kitty, now is not the time. You are also going... You are not allowed to progress any further. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ready for this? It phased through! And it phased through the sign! <laughs> okay... Let me try running... Let me try to get Goldie further down the slope. Oh, the holes are gone now, aren't they? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Animals. Should have done this before I... Okay, we're good. Well, I gotta move this out of the way. Alright, let's not put the snowball into the hole. Should be good. Alright, we're good. No! No! Ugh. We gotta make the snowball smaller. <laughs> and we gotta do the holes again. I'm having a good time. This is this is very interesting to me. 
Hopefully you're fascinated by this as well. I am very curious what the outcome is going to be. Alright, let's try this again. Goldie, stay. Okay, that's good. Kitty, you are... Why are you here? You don't live here. Oh my goodness. Alright, try this again. Hopefully I'm good this time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, new plan. Gotta... Gotta get the snowball up the hill first, and then trap Goldie. For some reason, that seems to be what's needed. Alright, Goldie. Back. Or, Goldie. Daisy. Back. Okay, yeah, you can talk to the cat. Now you're gonna be... Sad. Just go be sad over here. I'm trying to get Daisy stuck, and Kitty is just in the way. There, yeah, you <laughs> you go there. And now I want to uh, I want to get the snowballs to be pushed into each other while I am talking to Daisy while within frame within the same frame of the snowballs so that the snowman or the snowballs don't phase through each other and I want to see what happens uh, in this circumstance in, in this situation will the snowman be created because it, it will be if there's no interruptions or will it phase through again just by talking to Daisy even within view that is what I'm testing here Alright, so game plan. Roll the snowball down the hill. I don't know if it's going to make a perfect snowman, but we're going to find out. Snowball downhill, run into view to talk to Goldie. Alright, did it work? Oh, it worked! <laughs> it worked! And it was a perfect snowman! <laughs> that worked! Let's go, it didn't caused the snowman dialogue to occur. It skipped the dialogue entirely, and it still built a snowman. Okay, we have confirmed that is doable, and that is the result of interrupting the dialogue. It just doesn't happen. But you can tell it's perfect, because talking about how cute this, how cute he is, or her. There we go. Speedrun tactic. We can finally put to rest this situation and uh, that was pretty satisfying so dialogue just doesn't happen dialogue is cancelled um, in a positive manner <laughs> speedrun tactics interesting interesting you were here you saw what happened is it a glitch maybe could also be intentional That was very interesting. I'm glad that worked. The snowman was built. The dialogue did not occur. Has that ever happened before? Has anyone ever thought of that before? And figured out the circumstances to make the snowballs still connect? Surely it has. I've never seen it online, that's for sure. That seems like a probable thing that has happened before. Regardless though, very cool. Now we know. Glad I got that to work. And it still ended up being a perfect snowman after all that. What'd we get? We got a snowman carpet. And the duplicates are now going to be very common. There should be no more messing around from here on out. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see. I could test breaking the axe now. I could. 
I have a feeling it'll be the same result. You know what, though? I should test breaking the axe because the dialogue is a different type of dialogue. Like when you, uh, like when you get bit by a mosquito, like let's say you catch a fish and then you get bit by a mosquito, the mosquito dialogue will play after you're done with the fish dialogue. T well, technically the mosquito waits to bite you. That's how the dialogue is delayed. So in this case, that might, it might not be as simple as that. Um, I should test the axe thing. I, but the weird thing is I don't know how many hits left. Hit, how many hits the axe has left. That's the weird thing. It keeps, like, changing. So I don't know. It should only have one left. Or when you <laughs> you missed out on canceling the snowman greeting dialogue by talking to a villager while rolling a snowball down a hill to make the perfect snowman, but you have to be within view of the snowman for the snowman for the snowballs to not face through each other. And I trapped the villager so I could consistently talk to them so they wouldn't run off. So it, it worked in a way. Yeah, it worked. It had different results than before. I discovered if the snowballs are not within view of your character, they will phase through each other. But if they're within view of your character, you can still interrupt the dialogue by having another dialogue while the snowballs are rolling, as long as you are in view. But you have to, you have to move into view. So in a way, it worked. It worked in a, in a particular way. I would say that was a success. And now I'm curious to see if there's different results for an axe breaking. If you can do that. I don't know if there is a circumstance where you can enter a building and be within view of the snowball while the snowman is built and you have time to enter the building. That would require a very specific circumstance that I don't have set up at this town right now. And I don't know if it is doable. That looks good enough. Yeah, I don't know if there is a... Like, this acre right here might be doable. If you can push the snowball down the slope, run over here and enter the building before the snowballs collide... Actually, it could work if the snowball was pushed, like, over here. That actually might be a circumstance where that could work. But I think the result would simply be a dialogue cancel. Oh, what happens if you fall into a pitfall while a snowball is rolling down the hill? That's a great question. I, there is a pitfall around town somewhere. I saw it in the... Yeah, I saw it in the uh, town uh, bulletin board. I should test it. That's easy to test. That's easier than the axe. Great idea. I'll do that. It'll probably cancel the dialogue like before. Because that isn't like different dialogue than the axe. But only one way to find out. Simple enough to test. I've gotten pretty good at it. Well, let's see if we get a new snowman item for one. Or, well, we'll get an item. Let's see if it's new. It is a snowman wardrobe, not new. That's fine. I'm starting to f uh, figure out the route to look for snowballs in this town.
Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate that. Still don't know where the snowball spawns in the museum acre. There's a snowball. Where'd I... Oh, there it is. Rest in peace, that snowball. F. <laughs> There's the other one. Yeah, that can happen. You can break snowballs against other snowmen. That can happen. Let's not do it again. Let's get the snowball to respawn and try that again. Let me see if I can find that pitfall. <clears throat> Somewhere in the one acres. Alright. There's also one in the A acres. Okay. That's fine. I will look for that. Hopefully not fall in it. It cannot spawn in A3. I don't think snowballs can spawn in the A acres. Balls can, but I don't think snowballs can. Well, there's apparently a, uh, a pitfall in the one acres and the A acres. I'll start with this one. I feel like I would have run into it, although, already. Yeah, okay, it's a fossil. Don't need to get more of those around town. Okay, I was gonna say Velma probably would have fallen in that pitfall <laughs> if that was if that was it. Alright, I don't know where the pitfall is in the one acres. But uh, we'll go look in the A acres. Go over. Find it. You were here last time. This is the exact spot you washed up. One over. All right, what do we got, Gold? Are we going to get a compass today? I'll put it in my house if it's a compass or a tiger bobblehead. It just needs to go on a table. I think the shogi piece can, goes on, can go on a table as well. So that would also work. A mouth of truth again. <laughs> We've already shown that item off, Gulliver. I'll sell it. It's fine. We'll, we'll... The Moai statue's good. 
if that's how you pronounce it. No, it was a mouth of truth. It was an Optimalize statue. I meant to say the second Mouth of Truth, uh, as in the Harvest Festival challenge, had the Mouth of Truth. We've already shown that up. If I got a second Moai statue, I would, I would definitely try to find space for it on the other side. All right, where's this second snowball at? Where did it respawn? Where is it? Dang it. Can't believe I broke the snowball. There it is. I found it. All is well. Alright, let's push this one down the slope. Oh yeah, I need to find the pitfall. Right, I knew I was missing something. I'll get the snowball ready, and then I'll go find the pitfall. This should be the last test for messing around with this thought. Unless I want to try the axe. He does have a quick animation when rolling the snowball. It's true. Let's not break it. Should be good here. Yep. Seems good to me. Honestly, this is probably going to be good for a perfect snowman. Okay. One acres. Let's find this pitfall. There are two pitfalls somewhere in town. Let's try not to... F oh, uh, that could be it. Might have... If I had been a little more to the left, I would have fallen in it. Nice, I found it. All right, we're good. Okay, uh, I'll put the pitfall. If I could fall into the pitfall here, I think we can see the snowman being built. Here. Let me try here. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's let's try this. <laughs> I did it. Okay, the dialogue did not happen. Let's get out of the pitfall and see what happens. It canceled it. That is definitely not a perfect snowman, though. <laughs> All right, canceled the dialogue. My first non-perfect snowman, sad. But that was a fun test. So, cancels the dialogue even with a pitfall. Very cool. All right, it's all happened now. I've gotten a non-perfect snowman. I've tested the pitfall, I've tested the dialogue. Any interruptions will cancel the snowman dialogue. I feel pretty happy with all these tests. Because uh, the pitfall didn't even have dialogue. It was simply... You fall in a pitfall. And that cancelled it. So, that's probably the result for every situation like that. Alright. No more messing around. On January 11th. 
2023, from here on out, it will be pure efficiency with building snowmen. It only took five hours and 10 minutes. Let's see how fast I can build them. No more messing around. Here we go. We got our optimal route figured out. I know where all the snowballs spawn for the most part. And I think running over here is the strat, and then over here. I still don't know where it spawns in the museum. That's all right. All right, found the first snowball. Oh, excuse me, Velma, my apologies. Here. This layout is actually quite optimal for searching for snowballs. There's a very uh, convenient route to take. I was like, there's, I searched everywhere. This is the last possible spot. And it was. Ooh. Oh, good. That should be good. Alright. So, looks like that was, uh, like, last possible acres for the snowballs. They were on the opposite side of town. Well, not entirely, but they're pretty far away from each other. And I started at basically, like, 5 hours and 10 minutes when I exited my house. So, it looks like it's going to be about 5 minutes per snowman. Uh, for this test. It's going to take about a minute to reload. A little under five minutes, actually. That means I could I could do like 12 snowmen an hour. Which, uh... Which hopefully by that point I have all 12 snowman items. We shall see. January 15th is the first day Tortimer can leave for vacation. And then you can go into the lighthouse. But I do not intend on getting the lighthouse model in this challenge, so don't worry. It is going to be efficient snowman building from here on out. And if I make it to uh, Groundhog's Day, then I will have fun there. But until then, only building snowmen. We got a snowman table. Great. Did 
Tom Nook say he's upgrading his shop? Yeah, we got Nook and Go now. I bought one axe, and Nook was like, alright, business is booming. Let's upgrade the shop. <laughs> I bought just enough stuff. <laughs> I bought a radiator, an axe. Alright, let's do it. Time to build. I sold a few items. <laughs> business is booming. Stonks. Yep. Pretty much. All right, hopefully that's a fine spot. All right, I'm changing up my route. There are more possible snowball spots down here. I would be more interested in checking out first. Yes! That worked out. Love it when things work out. Yeah, the villagers never contribute towards Nook's store. It's all you and other player characters. So we can only conclude the villagers do not shop at Nook's. <laughs> However, they do claim that they've ordered like an axe or a carpet from Nook's for delivery once ever. Well, I guess I guess that's not true. Every new player character. But that's about it. That is not a perfect snowman, but it's very close. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. No! Oh! Bummer. Alright, well... That had to have been... Like, it could not have been much closer than that. Damn. Me pushing that... The snowball head into the body was just enough extra... Space. To, uh... Make it... Make the head too big. Alright. No more mistakes. Optimal gameplay from here on out. Let's go. I was too hasty. That was very close. Yeah, he gets a zero-star review. Poor selection. Slow delivery. Oh, why? Hello, Gracie. No more distractions, you say? I can't help it. If I get the snow shirt, I'm wearing it. Yo, thanks for the raid, Frog Miller. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. Got a little distraction here. Again, not you, Gracie. I want to see what Gracie shirt I get. Alright, so strategy here is this. <laughs> I 
Perfect. <laughs> Strategy is to mash. No, that was my fingernail. Alright, what do we get? A grass shirt? Oh, I have to wear it. It's not the snow shirt, but look at that. That's ridiculous. Alright. Alright, all of that... All that messed up snowman building was all RNG for this ridiculous grass shirt. <laughs> Remind us of springtime. <laughs> it's perfect. I wanted a snow shirt and I got a grass shirt. I mean, I can't even be mad. Can't even be mad. <laughs> There's a snowball. There will be no more mistakes from here on out. That was all RNG buildup for a grass shirt. All is well. Looks like we're pushing this snowball across the bridge. No point in wasting time. I know it's the other snowballs over here somewhere. No point in messing around. Velma and Copper are having a conversation. Fascinating. She's snitching. <laughs> exactly. There it is. Now I know where the snowball spawns in this acre. This is one of the few remaining acres I have not seen a snowball appear in. I haven't talked to Velma, so Velma probably, uh, you know, is not on good terms with me. So she's probably talking about, uh, you know, all the horrible things I've been doing, like pushing Daisy around <laughs> and uh, <laughs> relocating pitfalls, so on and so forth. Resetting, I did that once as well. <laughs> I'm going to go to jail. The wanted poster that's in the Lost and Found will be replaced with my face. That looks good. Are you kidding me? Novice Snowsmith? That looks perfect to me. What is wrong with your shape? Are you What? How is that not perfect? How have I messed up? I wasn't messing up at all at first, and now suddenly I forgot entirely how to build a snowman. I mess up once. Yeah, I was a small head. I saw it. I mess up once, and I suddenly cannot build perfect snowmen anymore. It's all falling apart. Yep, I should go to jail. Velma's right. It's all falling apart. I'm gonna run out of time. It's gonna be Groundhog's Day before I know it. All right. I have learned from my mistakes. Small head, large head. Gotta meet it in the middle. I am quite hungry. And tired. That is probably contributing but I will not give up I will persist
That was a snowball, Daisy. Actually, it would have been fun. Alright. No more mistakes now. It just won't happen again. Alright, found the first snowball. I think I know what's going wrong. I think I'm I'm um my I'm entering a speedrun mindset and I'm trying to do this quickly and therefore I am more hasty hastily pushing the snowballs together. That is where I'm going wrong. Hello Velma, still snitching I see. All right. All right, snowball 1 is there. Once you enter the speedrun mindset, everything changes. Snowball 2 is right here. Nice. Ooh, this is a good snowball route. Nice. Good. That was intense, but I did get the snowball over here. All right, no more hasty decisions. That should be good. That's got to be perfect. Yes! All right. I've remembered how to build a perfect snowman. Excellent. Let the efficiency commence. So now it's just a matter of RNG with getting snowman items. Snowman wall. Bummer. Alright. Let the fun truly begin. <laughs> This is what separates the casual snowman builder from the snowman building master.
Museum Acre is the last one where I don't know where snowballs spawn in it. But every other one, I know exactly where they spawn. And I can formulate an efficient route. Actually, I don't know where it spawns in the Able Sister Acre either. I think it spawns by the building. There it is. Here we go, I'll make a friend over here. If I want to get the triple snowman army, I should I should build them to the right of each other each time. Or or left, as long as there's space. But not in the middle. Alright, there we are. That looks good. Yes, that is a perfect snowman. Look at those friends. That's great. Alright, January 16th. I think Tortimer's at the Wishing Well now, going on vacation. However, I have no desire to uh, mess with that side quest. I'm in efficiency mode. We got a snowman sofa! Yes! Let's go! One to go! Oh my goodness, it's happening. One snowman item remains. And this sofa's gonna go right here. Not right there, right there. Sure, good, good enough. Do I want it right there? Yeah, I do. I mean, ideally, it'd be like here. It'd be like this. Hold on. 
I have an idea. That goes there. Sofa goes here. Then you can chill on the couch and look at the TV like that. Um. What? Wrong gyroid. Now the table goes here. Wait, that's not going to work. How do I do this? Nah, I think I'm just gonna have to have the snowman sofa like that. I just don't like the back of it. TV here. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, alright. It's all coming together now. There we go. And then... We can put something here. Well, we can put something... Ooh, I got it. The dummy could, could like, be a pretend table. <laughs> Alright, that's not bad. We'll put our friend back over here. And then the chair... Can go... The snowman chair will eventually go here. Let's see what happens if I put something here that makes sense. Hmm. What do you guys think? There's not a lot of space in this house. Too bad the TV can't go on the table. Unless it can. Pretty sure it cannot. No, it cannot. Yeah, this is collecting all the snowman items. But I also went ahead and collected all the igloo items as well. You know, no big deal. Ooh, I got it. I could put the sleigh like that. And then I could put the snowman chair here. I like that. That feels right. Or does it? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Let's build more snowmen. Oh, I guess while I'm in the area, I do want to check out Nook and Go. And I also want to sell my carpet and wallpaper. Or, sell my items. Including the carpet and wallpaper. All these rare items I'm selling kind of hurts.
It's a lot of bells. I'm, you know, I could just make enough bells to pay off my second house debt and just upgrade my house. <laughs> that is always an option. However, I don't really want to do that. Anyways, I kind of want to just get the last snowman item. We'll see. I am building a snowman army down here in the left half of town. Looks like that's probably going to continue. Hey, Summer. Welcome to the stream. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube videos. I appreciate that. And this one will become one as well. So, if you've missed a lot of the stream, well, there'll be a video to watch later. Alright, we have Sahara in town today. Have yet to find a snowball. It must all be over here. I did go forward. And, okay, yeah, we're, we're good. They are all over here. The last, like, two or three possible acres. All right, we got one there. There could be one right here. Um, well, I clearly missed a spot. Huh. Well, I know where I want this to go. Let me quickly check. I don't think snowballs can spawn in Acre F5. But, if they could... Okay, they cannot. Oh yeah, Tortimer's probably here. Yep. Alright, you want to go on a vacation? Alright. You want me to... Uh, no, I cannot. He simply takes no for an answer. He does not take no for an answer. I have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness, he does not take no for an answer. As soon as you talk to him. Alright, yeah, got it. I'm not doing it, but I got it. I mean, I could while I build snowmen, but I, I have had enough distractions up to this point. I don't need another one. I was curious if you could say no. You cannot. No is not an option. Let the snowman army continue. It's funny how the snowballs and the snowmen look a little different. Maybe they don't. Kind of do. Alright, well, I don't know where the last snowball is, but I also don't know where it spawns in the museum, and now I do. <laughs> Found it. It's right there. All right, now the only remaining acre I've yet to see a snowball is the Abel's sister. At least where it's possible to spawn. That should be good. 
Are you kidding me? Is the head too big? Well, there you go. There's our triple snowman. One of them is not perfect. No, it's very close. Oh, bummer. Next. I was doing so well. I had so many perfect snowmen that I didn't mess up on the entire time. But I think it's because I'm getting really tired. <laughs> Who would have thought getting tired would mess up my snowman building abilities? Anyways, next. That's all RNG manip. It's all it is for the snowman share. It's all going to come together for a reason. Snowman chair is all that remains. I now know where all the snowballs spawn. I am very tired, but I will not let that stop me. I'm getting this last snowman item, I believe. And if I don't complete the challenge today, I will continue it tomorrow. I'm going to try to finish it today. I've got about 30 minutes left until I have to call it. Um, but I'm going to... Well, it's just going to come down to RNG, really. Hopefully, I can get the last one. Hopefully. We shall see. There's snowball number one. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the snowball over here. I've discovered the left side is the best side to roll the snowball down. More snow this way. Kinda worked. Ha! Nice. Is that good? Yes. All right. Can we get the snowman chair as the 20th snowman item and the last one? That'd be really, really lucky. And I'll take it. We'll find out very soon. Here we go. Snowman chair is all I need. 
Snowman carpet. Dang, it began with a C. <laughs> so close. Next. This is more of a casual speedrun gameplay, long play. I'm collecting all the snowman items, and I also went ahead and collected all the igloo items as well. That's what's going on here. Alright, if I ever get a snowball on this acre, I reroute... Um, actually, I should check if there's a snowball in C1, and then reroute. Or should I? No. There are 12 unique snowman items. I have 11. It is not guaranteed you will get a new one. So we shall see if I can get the 12th one without too much bad luck. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, it's entirely possible I will not get it for the next four hours. It is absolutely possible. But there's only one way to find out. But I only intend on streaming for about 30 more minutes today. And then I will have to call it a stream, but I will conclude the stream tomorrow. Unless I get insanely bad luck. In which case, <laughs> that'd be sad. Then I would have to extend the challenge. Hopefully I don't have to go into year two. That would be really sad. Also, Velma wears a rare Gracie shirt, by the way. Fun fact. Which you can get her to give it to you if you complete a villager quest where a villager is delivering a shirt to Velma. Velma can give you the shirt off her back, and it can be a it can be the the I think it's the swell shirt is what she wears or the cool shirt. It's one of those. I think it's the cool shirt. I think Egbert wears the swell shirt. But yeah, every snowman you build gives you a, uh, a new snowman item. Or it'll give you a snowman item. Hopefully it's new. So I just gotta build a bunch of snowmen. Well, you can see how long it takes me to build one. I'm averaging about one every five minutes at this point. But I mess around for the majority of this challenge. So, my efficiency has only recently been improving. I think the head's too big. That should be good. Nice. All right, here we go again. Next.
One in twelve chance. Snowman wall. Again? I got another carpet and wall. These snowmen just love giving- They didn't give me carpets or walls for like the first eight. And it's been like the majority of them since. Alright, I think they're saying I should keep them. For if I were to ever upgrade this house. I could have the snowman carpet and wall upstairs and downstairs. I see. Alright, there's a snowball. Nice. Aha! This is supposed to be a quick one. You'd love to see it. I love to see it. You can sit on a carpet and stare at a wall. Yeah. You can sit on a carpet, you can sit on a chair. They must be the same items. Snowman chair is the last snowman item. Oh, do you see the way my villager grabbed that snowball? It was funny. Funny looking. Alright, I'll put the put the snowman here. No, I'm not ready. Dang it. Alright, we're good. Yes! Saved. It's not ready yet. That looks good. Yes! That was a quick one. Nice. I think that's my fastest... Start to finish snowman build from finding the snowballs to completing a perfect snowman and then saving. Quitting. Here we go. Another one. Snowman chair! Oh my goodness, I did it! <laughs> that is time! <laughs> Let's go! Sub six hours just like that! Wow! That's crazy that I actually did it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? GG! That's incredible. Let's go. Just like that, the challenge has concluded <laughs> quickly. I did it. That's it. I did it. There it is. That's amazing. Wow. I actually cannot believe that. I'm not going to lie. I, I cannot believe I actually completed the challenge. Wow. All right, then. Uh... GG. And I think this is the house layout that I like. Not only did I complete the challenge, but the house is done too. Alright, let's give the grand tour. 
Uh, there's only one thing I want to do, quickly. I want to put the jingle shirt in here. Oh, I might as well put a few more things in here, too. Go ahead and put the tools in here. You know what? I have a better idea. I have both the carpet and a wallpaper. I don't need to put away my tools. Um, I'll take the axe out and the shovel. And I'll put in my spare carpet and wallpaper. That's actually perfect. Wow. That's actually absolutely perfect. No one stores tools. Okay, there we go. This is cozy. Let me give the grand tour. And then, um... Uh, actually, you know what? I'll give the grand tour at the end. I have two more things I want to do before I conclude this challenge. Um, I have completed it, though. Insanely. Uh, I insanely sub six hours. I cannot believe that. Um, but for uh, concluding the challenge, I'm now going to build two snowmen... One with a giant head and a small body, and one with a small body and a giant head. And then I will give the grand house tour, and we'll call it a stream, a challenge, and a video. So, the snowman building continues one last time, and we'll give a shout out to whoever's in this igloo. Aw, we got Stella, who actually has the same personality as Daisy. And I could, uh, I could play games and whatnot. Why don't we play a game? Uh, no. <laughs> Have I ever said no to that? I don't know. Anyways. Very fun. Now I have. I have now said no to that game. Now, let's build a giant, ridiculous snowman. Twice. Hello, Crazy Red. Ugh, fine. This is the challenge of distractions. I think I've seen everyone but Wendell now. Do you have... Is there anything that you could possibly have in your store that would captivate me to purchasing it to add to my house that's already filled? A super toilet. <laughs> of course! How could, how could I forget about the super toilet? Of course I'll purchase that. Thank you, Crazy Red. Epic. I will find room for the super toilet. Absolutely. I probably will not find room for the super toilet. But that is a very fun item. <laughs> Epic purchase. Perfectly happy with my spending decisions. <laughs> my financial, uh, you know, situation is currently acceptable at the moment where I can splurge on super toilets. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's build this fun snowman. Oh, hey! There's the other snowball. And you know what? This is absolutely perfect. We can build this ridiculously giant snowman in front of my gyroid. What do you guys want to see first? Do you want to see a snowman with a giant head and a small body? Or a snowman with a giant body and a small head first? Small body or large body first? I'm going to do both, but what do you want to see first? Let me know. We got one for small body first. We'll let the Twitch chat catch up to the latency. And we'll see what people want. I'll start preparing the large snowball in the meantime, though. Small body, two for small bodies. All right. So you guys want to see the massive head first. Three for small bodies, four for small bodies. All right, they're all coming in. I think we have a clear winner. Small body, giant head for the first one. You got it. First, we'll build the snowball as massive as possible. I think it is maxed. Pretty sure this is a max size snowball. So now I'm going to try to keep it as maximum size as possible right in front of the gyroid. <laughs> there we are. Good enough. 
However, um, I need to uh, let me let me try this again. If we're doing the small body first, then this needs to go last. So build this back up. That should still be max. Oh yeah. And we'll put the small body in front of the gyroid. Where was it? It was over here, right? Yeah, there it is. All right. Get this small body going. It's going to be fun. <laughs> this is very fun to do. This, I, I love, I love doing this. I haven't done this in a while. I think the last time I built a snowman with a small body and a giant head was for my 100% video when I was messing around. All right, so now... In order to get this to work, the snowballs have to be pushable. So the snowball has... I want to get it to the point where I can't push it like this. I can't roll it. I should specify. I can't roll it, but I can push it. Wow, I can still roll it, huh? All right. Okay, there we go. Now, this, we're going to find out if the snow works for growing the snowball. We're going to see if this counts as snow. Yeah, it does. It does. All right. Let's make it as small as possible. Now I can roll it up against the gyroid until I can start pushing it. I think this works. I don't think it's working. Dang it. Okay, can't do that. That little section counts as dirt. Right by the gyroid. Gotta make this perfect, after all. Gotta make it as amusing as possible. Even if it's 1% more amusing than it was before, it'll be worth it. Alright, it's pushable. Against the gyroid, it's not, so I need to make it a little larger. All right, there we go. It's perfect. Next, here comes the big snowball. <laughs> here it comes. Here we go. <laughs> Why? Why did this have to happen to me? Why is it my fate to be born into such a hideous state? When you're making me... Mm, that's odd. I was building a snowman, not a monster. And there is our beautiful snowman. <laughs> Giant head. Small body. Gyro is going crazy back there. Now let's talk to him. Cold, immobile, passing the icy days until the inevitable springtime melting. Snowman's life seems sort of bleak. That is not a happy snowman. <laughs> You can barely see his body, yes. Alright, now let's see what happens if I talk to my gyroid and save. Because I'm not going to do this again, but with the giant body. Look at that head. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Alright, we do it one more time. Giant body, small head. And then we'll do a grand house tour. We'll call it a stream. <laughs> this has been fun. I've had a great time. I cannot believe I got all 12 snowman items in only 21 perfect snowmen. That's actually crazy. Very lucky. I'm very happy about that. All snowman items, all igloo items, in less than six hours. All right, who wants to try to beat this speedrun record? Time for a new category on speedrun.com. All snowman items and igloo items. With a fun house. With house with a house with good vibes. <laughs> speedrun. Sub six hours. How satisfying. 
How absolutely perfect. And I learned where all the snowballs spawn in my town. However, I don't know where it spawns in the Able Sister, but I'm pretty sure I already know. What a great challenge this has been. Yeah, if you don't get distracted with slopes and visitors and... <laughs> Even then! Nah. If you don't get distracted with literally anything, obviously, this this is not a... <laughs> this is, it could be improved, obviously. I've had several distractions, and it's been so worth it every time. Anyways, Snowball spawned in, this, in a very close spot. I'm very happy about that. Our big-headed snowman friend is still going strong there. Uh, let's see, where is the second snowball at? We know it spawns right here. If it were to spawn in the Museum Maker, it is not there. Spawn there. Oh my goodness. Over here, it would spawn here. Here. There. There it is. Oh, fine. All right. For the final snowball, the game really is testing my skills, isn't it? Fair enough. Pretty smooth, I would say. I'm not done yet. Oh, wait. Let me push a little more. Okay. There we are. Got there. Very good. This can go straight up. I'm not even going to mess around. Just straight north. Really testing my snowman building skills and snowball pushing skills at the end there. Alright, so this is going to definitely be the body. Up the hill we go. Oh, there's the igloo. How nice. Now I can put the body large over here. Oh, I should... Um, I should get the body large over here. Because it's going to shrink in size a lot. Because obviously I've got to build it right next to my house. Right next to the other... Other snowman. looking quite large. I think it has been maxed. Alrighty. So now... Push it over here. Where should I... Can I build it here? Let's try. I barely squeezed by we're going to find out if it can be built here. Alright. So now this snowball needs to be a little larger. It needs to be pushable. Or it needs to be rollable, I should say. I don't know what the right word is. You know what I mean. Well, I can always destroy the snowman if it's blocking my path. I don't think you can, though. I don't think you can build it in, right in front of your door. I don't think it lets you. All right, let's see if this is. Let's see if this will work. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? Let's see if this works. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Uh, 
Uh, let me let me build it in front of the mailbox. I think you can build it in front of the mailbox. All right, here we go. Again, no, you can't. We'll just keep pushing it until you can build it. Oh, now the snowball isn't pushable. <laughs> this one isn't. This doesn't count as snow. All right, all right, let's 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 try this again. We are going to build it to the left of our friend here. That is the new plan now that we know where and where not the snow snowman can be built. Should be slightly larger on this side anyways. Alright, that should be maxed size again. Yep, our friend is going to go right there. That should work. I could put it next to another house, but I do want to put it next to this snowman for comparison's sake. I think it'd be fun. Besides, they're friends. We want our friends to hang out together. That, that wouldn't be nice if our friends were separated from each other. They are snowman, after all. They can't really move. Okay, here we go. Uh, ready for this? Wait. Let me get the snow m snowball even a little smaller. Because I think I can. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh my, yes indeed. So this is how it is. <laughs> now I'm not from this area. <laughs> Pretty surprised if this sort of treatment was the norm. <laughs> uh, this is amazing. Beautiful. Look at these two misfits just hanging out, having a good time together. Those are some happy friends right there. They're so close to each other. They're, they're you know, one of them is inside the other one. <laughs> they're so large. Aw, how wonderful. All right, let's conclude this stream and video and challenge with the grand house tour. We'll save after that, and we'll get one final look at our, our snowman friends. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, have a good time. So, here we are. Welcome to the Snowman and Igloo Item House. I'm your host, Brian. I'm wearing a grass shirt because I'm looking forward to spring. Here you will find every Igloo item in the game, as well as every Snowman item. This is a completed Snowman series. This is worth a lot of points. In fact, the HRA should be very happy. I will check that out afterwards, or we can together. Over here on the right side, you will find the comforting entertainment area where you can play your favorite NES game, Clue Clue Land. Here you can hang out on the couch and watch TV. And if you're capable of it, you can also lie down on the couch and watch TV at an angle. Snow Bunny here to greet you, keep you company. This dummy item here, which floats mysteriously in the air, scientists do not know how it works. Uh, it can also function as a table, if you think about it. It doesn't really, but it could. Here's our real table on the left, a snowman table. For dinner, we have crab stew, and we can also play with the noisemaker. It would be really annoying. Very fun. Here, you can sit down on the sleigh or snowman chair if you want to move the sleigh out of the way. And we have our friend here, a harmonoid, will keep you company when you're lonely at night or whatever. And then over here, speaking of which, is the bed, your sleeping arrangement. There's room for two, uh, if you if you have that. Uh, otherwise, it is a large bed for, you know, you can have all the space you need. We have KK Blues playing in the background, very chill. And we got our igloo and, and uh, snowy tree model to remind you of winter at all times and the green grass of when spring will come one day. We have the best item in the game over here, chowder. It is very delicious looking, and if you're able to eat it, I'm sure it's very tasty as well. Pretty pretty warm though, so you know, 
Careful. Then we got the dress in the war boat, wardrobe in the back. It has a spare snowman carpet and wallpaper if you need them for whatever reason. And, uh, and there's also some fruits in the snowman wardrobe if you're hungry and you're tired of crab stew and chowder, which I don't know how that's possible. And then on the left, we have our Gulver item showcase of the stream video challenge, the Moai statue. Fits nicely in the corner over there. It's another face to join the other faces that fill this room. So many faces, you'll never be lonely here. And the snowman clock and lamp and fridge to complete the series. Thank you for joining me on this grand house tour. I hope you enjoyed your time. It is very cramped, but it is yet somehow still livable. I'm sure the H-Ray absolutely loves it. And thank you all very much for hanging out with me for this challenge. Oh, Ice Climber would be perfect. I do have the e-reader card for it. Uh, but too late. Could have thought of that before. Maybe next time. I have to call it a stream. Um, we will show off the Ice Climber and Mario Bros. e-reader card, which I own at some point in the future. Maybe for a future challenge, I'll revisit this house uh, just to put it there. But uh, I did mention the HRA is probably very happy with this. So let's see what the HRA rates this house layout. Is it over 100,000? Or is it under? Personally, let's make our guesses. I'm actually curious. I actually don't know. I think it's going to be barely under. Like, I'm guessing 97,523. That'd be, that'd be insane. I actually have no idea. I have not done the math. Here we go. What is the HRA score for this house? 91,587. So about 6,000 less than I was thinking. Still, though, 91,000. That's a pretty good score. That's good enough to get the house model. Ooh, actually, fun fact about the house model. If you didn't know, the house model and manor model will have the same color roof as your house. So I have a white roof because it's snowing. So this house model actually has a white roof, which fits very nicely for the theme of this house. And there's one spot left for it right there. <laughs> Perfect. All right, everyone. It is exactly when I need to end stream. So this is an absolutely perfect, down to the minute, perfect time to conclude the challenge, video, stream. Hope you all had a good time. I did. Maybe I'll return to get my Ice Climber game and put it in the house. That would be fun. But until then, thank you all for watching. Happy holidays to you all. And I hope you all, yeah, have a good Christmas if you, uh, you know, if that's a if that's a thing you do. I certainly do. And hopefully I get a stream in before New Year's. If not, Happy New Year's as well. Uh, I'll see you all in the next stream regardless. But I will be busy for the holidays for a little while. But anyways, for those on YouTube, thank you all very much for watching as well. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And yeah, take care. Thanks for watching.